All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. I got my buddy David Lee up there running the camera tonight. <laughs> hey. Daniel says we are live, so we have done it right. We are getting ready for the girls' game. This is for third and fourth place in the region tournament. It'll be Charlton will be play in Turner County. Panthers beat Charlton last night to advance to the championship and Atkinson County beat Turner County to advance to the championship. So they'll play for third and fourth. And uh, then we'll move on to the boys. That'll play third and fourth. That'll be Charlton and Turner also. Then we'll move on to game three. That'll be the girls region 2A championship between Atkinson County and Clinch County. And then we'll move on to the boys game, which will be Lanier County and Clinch County for the region 2A championship. So we're going to sit back, let y'all enjoy a little bit of it. I'm going to write down some roster sheet. We're getting ready for some basketball, so just stay right here. What Big K doing? Oh, they ain't coming tonight. Oh. Oh, I got. They're coming later to the championship round. I got you. There's the Charlton County. They're going to be in their black uniforms tonight. All right, we're starting on up for the Lady Titans. Number two, Jameer Fowler. Turner will be in all white uniforms. Number five, Janaja Lawson. Number 11, Destiny Collins. And number 20, Taylor Hardy. The Titans are coached by Coach Raymond. Hard to be a very good game, Turner and Charlton. Both teams have made the state playoffs. They'll be on the road to start the playoffs. The advantage you have of being a third seed, you play the other number two team in the other region. All right, folks, we're back here. A big three-point basket by Fowler for Turner County. We're already tied up. Indians hit one, two, three to three. They're going to call a foul on number 11 for Turner. That's Collins. That'll be her first. We're just starting the game on a rainy night in Georgia. Humphreys will miss her first one, second one on the way. Got it, good shot there by number 23, Hamilton, excuse me. Indians jump in a little trap defense. Turner will dribble around it, got it back to Fowler. She'll drive in. Won't go still with the rebound. Turner will take it back, back to Fowler. Collins with the ball. She'll throw one up off the backboard, won't go. 22 Humphreys. Here come the Indians. Four to three. Charlton on top. 
Charlton is the guest. Turner is the home. Oh, a hard fall there. Number 23, that was Hamilton. I can promise you, folks, there's not a lot of people here now, but there will be a fowler with a big three. Put Turner back in front, six to four. This place will be jam-packed here by the time we get to the girls and the boys championship round. Martin back down for Turner. She'll get leads it out of bounds. They'll keep the possession. Here come the Indians now. They trail by two. They'll lay it up. It won't go. They'll put it back. Won't go. Trying to save it. They will. They'll a third time and it won't go. She'll draw a foul on that one. We hope to have Coach Chase up here do a little interview here at halftime of the girls or somewhere here during the girls game. Good free throw there by the Indians. That is Hamilton again at the line. She's going to try to tie it up with this one. Got it. We're all tied up six apiece. There's this, oh, almost a steal by Hamilton. Battle picked her up at the three-point line. Turner will throw it away. Here come the Indians. Turner's in a little press now. Battle trying to dribble through. She will. She's got it. The Hamilton tried to put it up. Won't go. Appreciate everybody tuning in right now to Creek Box. We're tied up six to six. Indians have the ball. They're in their black uniforms. Turner in their white. Good shot by Hamilton. She got six of the eight points. Here comes Fowler. Long three off the rim won't go. Hamilton playing some basketball for the Indians tonight. Turner will have it. They'll bring it in. Eight to six, Charlton on top. Sanders will throw up one, won't go. Mm, 22, Humphreys snatching the ball. She wasn't going to let him get it from her. No, we're not going to do that tonight. I'm going to call it out. We let him loose with the score, Scott. It'll be ugly. <laughs> He'll put it on the wrong end. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to tell you the score tonight. It's 8-8. Eight to eight. We all tied up, brother. Scott said, don't make him sick now running that camera. Scott said, don't make him sick running the camera. <laughs> He'd watch it. Go. <laughs> you can't talk to him. He can't breathe. 
and to the camera at the same time. Uh, he'll be good by the time we get to the championship game. Ten to eight, Charlton on top. They're going to take a timeout. So we'll take one too. We'll be back in just a second. Be merry this holiday season at the Merry Acres, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. All right, everybody, we're back here now. Indians leading Turner 10 to 8. Fowler throws one up and got it. We're all tied up 10 apiece now. Here in the first quarter, 4-15 to play. Turner will get a steal. Lays it up. Good job there by Lawson, number five for Turner. They take a 12 to 10 lead. Battle dribbling through. Good pass. Oh, she lost it out of bounds. That was Hamilton. Here comes Turner now. She drives all the way in, lays it up and in. That was number 14 at Smith. <laughs> you right about that thing. He can chew and swallow at the same time. That's about it. <laughs> All right. That's why we're practicing now, baby. We'll be ready to go when the real ones start. All right. 14 to 10. Turner back on top now. Titans have it. Fowler with the ball. She'll kick it back out to Smith. Good crossover move by Turner. Good, good job, number 11. Knox blocked it for Charlton. Turner will throw one up. Charlton last night had the Panthers by nine at halftime, and they come out after halftime, look like a different team. Ms. Johnson says, proud of you, Creek Box team. We appreciate it, Ms. Johnson. Be a little patient tonight. We're not going to have to score it, but I promise I'll get it out. David's working hard on that camera. 16 to 10. Turner on top of Charlton. I'm going to rest a little bit till we get to the championship mode because there's going to be a lot of shooting for the Rebels and the Panthers tonight, I hope. And then you got Lanier and Clinch in the final. Smith driving in. She'll kick it to Fowler. Boy, she can play some basketball. Off the rim, won't go. She come down on her ankle. Charlton will take over. They trail 16 to 10. Knox with the long three off the back of the rim won't go. Good a rebound in there for the Indians. That's Hamilton back up and in. 16 to 12 now. Indians trying to play some defense. That may have been Lambert with the basket. Fowler with the ball for Turner now. He'll give it back over to Lawson. She'll draw a foul. That'll be on Mackey. Number five for the Indians. 
what it looked like he held up with number five. Third free throw on the way. Indian still put it up, won't get it. Tried it again, Knox up and in. Good shot by Knox. Sixteen to fourteen now. There we go. Here come the Indians. Sixteen, fourteen Indians try to tie this thing up. Sixteen, fourteen. Turner with a long three off the thing. I apologize for it being quiet a little bit. I'm trying to do what Daniel does a little bit. Mm. <laughs> That's right, Scott. <laughs> Here comes Turner. Trying to add to the lead, she'll throw it up. Oh, a foul, that's, no, she traveled. Indians have a chance to tie this up. I was talking to my buddy Adam from the Charlton Sports Network. They did a baseball game yesterday in Charlton. Charlton 2-0. and oh. He said they're gonna have a good team this year. As always, Emma Lanier, they do a good job. Steel with the basket, we're all tied up now. 45 seconds to play in the first. Number three, that's Martin dribbling around. She'll, looking for Lawson, she'll give it up to Edwards. Edwards needs some help now, got it back to Smith. Smith looking 28 seconds. Good job by the Indians to steal it away. Here comes Hamilton. Turn around, jumper, got it blocked, Knox saved it. Here come the Titans. Good job, got it to Smith, she couldn't get it. One more shot, won't go, Knox with the rebound. Plenty of time, we got eight seconds. Good pass to Steele, she'll put it up and in. Charlton with their first lead tonight, 18 to 16. And that's gonna do it here for the first quarter. We'll take a break and we'll be back in just a second. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy truck are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker. At Richards and Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, 
company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond. Call Gregory to schedule Richard's Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912-487-5822. All right, folks, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're back here live. Indians leading 18 to 16. This is the first game of the day. This is for third and fourth place. I'm trying to get a hold of my buddy Chase. Tell him he can come up here anytime he needs to. Turner trying to tie it up. Smith with the ball. Get it over to Martin. Fowler with the shot. She traveled. That'll be a turnover. Indians have it. A championship game between the Panthers and the Rebels. Going to be a great game. Axon County with that three-headed monster that can shoot them threes. Oh, I don't know what. Co- I'm glad I'm not Coach Chase. I'll just say that. And Coach Terrence. That's why they make the big money. You got Jakari, Moore, and Williams. For the Lady Rebels. Turner will throw up a long one. Can't get it. Got the rebound. I'll put up another one and got it. We're all tied up again, folks. 18 apiece. Here we go. Here come the end. That's going to be a foul. Smith got into battle. Got into the back of her. Oh, there's one. Turner will steal it. Knox was trying to get it down to steal. Smith has it now, and that's going to be a foul on number 25 for the Indians, and that would be Lambert. Turner's in white. Charlton's in the black uniforms. I'm glad I wore some jeans and a sweater. It's cold in this gym. Long three, number 10, overshot it for Turner. And it'll go out of bounds. Let's see if, nope, the Indians did not touch it. Turner will keep it. 6.03 to play in the first half. It's 18 to 18. Battle with the ball over to Knox. Back to battle. Battle with a long three. Boom! Got it. Man, what a shot. She hit that one from the second row up in the bleachers. 21-18, Indians on top. Oh, man. Number three for Turner. That was Martin trying to get it to number four, Edwards. Went over her head. Hamilton driving in, got it. 
23 to 18 now. Twenty-four eighteen. Turner needing a basket now. Charton will steal it. Turner trying to get it back. Hamilton drives in, won't go. Knox with it. Can't get it to go. Steal got it. Throws it up. She'll draw a foul. Killer go to the free throw line. Indians 24, Titans 18, 506 to play in the second. All right, 25-18 now. Fowler with the ball. She'll pull up 12-footer. Got it. I need it that one, 25-20. There's a steal by Turner. Here they come back. That's Edwards. Oh, man. She traveled. Indians will bring it in. Knox with the ball. Got it down to Steele. Almost. Tried it again. Knox will try this time. Won't go. Indians will lose it. They had four shots down there. Couldn't get them. Here comes Turner now. 4.15 to play. They'll get it over to Collins. Number five with it. That's Lawson driving in. Can't get it to go. Steal with the rebound. Oh, there's a steal by number five. That's Lawson. Got it to Fowler. Turnaround jumper. Won't go. Indians with the rebound. That's Humphreys with the ball now. Long pass. Fowler will knock it away. Here comes Turner back this end. Edwards with the ball. She'll slow it down. Look out. Long three. Overshot it. Indians have it. Hamilton throws it up. Won't go. Knocked out of bounds by the Indians. 25-20. Charlton on top, 325 to play in the first half. Here comes Turner now. We're going to have a foul. That's going to be on Knox. That'll be her second. The next game ought to be a great game, too, between the Charlton County boys and the Turner boys. I'll tell you what, Braddock from Charlton County last night played the Panthers tough in the first half. Man, they could not miss. Braddock was hitting everything he threw up. Second half, it's like a light switch. They could not buy a shot in the fourth quarter. Panthers finally pull away to make it to the championship game. Battle throw up one, can't get it. Fowler with the rebound. Here comes the Titans. 25-20, they need a basket. Indians on top. Collins with the ball. Back over to Smith. Oh, there's a steal by the Indians, and that's going to be a foul. That'll be on Smith, and that'll be her second.
All right. Charlton have it. Collins. Oh, no, that was Knox with the shot. Out of bounds. Nope. Jump ball. Indians will keep it. 25-20. 2.20 to play in the first half. What are we waiting on, I guess, the shot clock? Got my main man down there, James Edward. Does a great job coaching the middle school. Won a championship this year with him. I got to get him on Creek Box. Turner needing a basket. They've had every opportunity to tie this thing up. Fowler pulls up. Man, it wrapped around the rim. Won't go. Steal with the rebound. Here comes Hamilton. She'll throw one up. A hook off the backboard and got it. 27-20 now. Indians on top. Smith with Turner back down the court. Trying to get it to Fowler. She gets it in the paint right at the free throw line. In and out. It just won't go. Man, she's doing everything right. Just will not go. Here comes battle for the Indians. 27-20, 125 to play in the first half. Knox with a long shot. She'll knock that one down. Second big shot tonight for Knox. 29-20 now. Indians trying to pull it away. Get a big lead going into halftime. Smith with the ball. She'll throw one up. It won't go. Knox fighting for it. Knocked out of bounds. Indians will have it. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. All right, everybody, we're back here on Creek Box. Indians up 29 to 20. Nope, 31. To 20 now, 40 seconds to play. Turner County, Charlton County. This is for third place in the region. Long three by the Titans, it won't go. Steele had it. Number three got it, that's Martin trying to put it up. Steele will block it. There's another one. Fowler with the ball. She's going all the way, lays it, oh, won't go, man. She has had several like that. That foul will be on number 11. That's Knox. That's going to be her third. 31 to 20. Fowler at the free throw line. First one. Got it. Good shot. Maybe that'll change your luck now. Second shot on the way. Off the back of the rim. Collins with the rebound for Turner. Oh. What do we got? Number 35, that's on Steele. Turner will keep it. 
13 seconds to play. They get it to Fowler. Turn around inside the paint off the rim. Won't go. Knox with the rebound. Oh, she saved it. Five seconds. Three seconds. Good. She late. No, we got a foul with 2.4 seconds to play. On number 11, that'll be Collins. 10-point lead by Charlton County, 31-21. First shot on the way for the Lady Indians. She'll miss it. That's Hamilton at the line. Second free throw on the way. Off the rim, won't go. Turner with the rebound, but that's going to do it, folks. So after one half, it's Charlton 31, Turner 21. We'll be back in just a little bit. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Aver House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averett House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. 
Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statonville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Fox TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Let's see right here. What we got? We got something that's wrong. There you go, Chase. You hear that now? I can. <laughs> okay. I apologize. We got the head ball coach for the Clinch County Lady Panthers. My buddy, Coach Chase Daniels. Coach Chase, down by nine. We it, come out in the second half, man, we look like a totally different team. Uh, are you allowed to say what you said at halftime <laughs> yeah, last I mean, night? You know, it wasn't anything that was, you know, extraordinary or anything. It's just, uh, you know, I told them that it came down basically to effort and, and attitude and energy, you know. Um, I told them it doesn't matter what we try to run on defense or offense or anything that we're just getting out hustled out work there seemed like That's they right. were getting every loose ball it seemed like they were when we were on offense we weren't getting many second chances we weren't offensive rebounding the way we should have and um, I don't know all year long we've been a slow starting team and I don't know why it seems like that's been the norm and I'm just glad we got it going in the second half, but I challenged them at halftime just to come together. I said, look, the boys just had the same scenario, basically. They were down at halftime by about the same margin, and um, I think we were down by eight at halftime. They were down by seven. Came, They came back and won big. I said, you know, what's to say we can't? You know, uh, we dodged some foul trouble with a couple of girls, but Dean got oh, foul trouble. Oh, yeah, you had Dorsey and Dean on the bench at one time. I'm going to tell you the changing of the game. We were up by about three. You put Morris in with about ten seconds, and she sinks that three at the buzzer going into the fourth, and it was over at that point. I tell I mean, you, Tara's three came in a crucial point, too. It did. It did. Um, you know, I think she put us back up by double digits uh, with that three. Destiny hit a big three. Um but um, I thought that our energy on defense was the was the difference maker in the second half. And I told him, I said, look, we're going to get out of this 2-3 zone. We're going to get back to doing what we do. Um, 
I said, and win or lose, we're going to leave it all on the court. We're going to come out in the second half. We're going to run the floor. We're going to press them some. And I said, we're just going to get back to doing what we do because we hadn't really ran a 2-3 defense all year, but we thought with with Charlton having battle being the difference maker in both games that we played in the regular season, we thought a 2-3 zone might um, slow her up a little bit. That's right. And keep her from penetrating, but man, she was just penetrating the zone just like it I don't know, man. Man, Dorsey ended up with 23 points last night. Talbert with 14 points. Really? Yeah, she had, and I mean, she had, in the fourth quarter, she had 10 points. Talbert did. Man, that's awesome. And listen, I I don't want to make light of the points because. That's um, right. Obviously, you got to have points to win the game. That's right. Know? That's right. But what I try to tell my girls is that's not what I concentrate on. That's not what I put my emphasis on. I don't care who's scoring the points. What I care is that that our team has more than their team. That's right. So whoever's having a great night, you know, I, I really don't care. I like to look at the book and see a lot of people would score. That's like, right. You know what I'm that's saying? right. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven girls that scored points last night. Yeah, that's awesome. And what I concentrate on all year long is um, Sean McCall does a great job. He, he coaches our middle school girls, and he helps me with the stats on the uh, varsity. And what I do is I get Sean to keep up with rebounds and turnovers. And I've told my girls, if you win rebounds and you win the turnover battle and then the free throw battle, those are the three statistics that I care about, which I can get the free throw percentage from the book. Um, but I get Sean to, to keep up with rebounds and turnovers. In the first half, we had 14 turnovers. Mm -hmm. In the first half, mm. 14 turnovers. I told them at halftime, and I challenged them about that. In the second half, I, I, I looked at it. We ended up with 20 total. So in the second half, we only had six. So we had 14 in the first half, six in the second half. And then uh, we out-rebounded them, I think, 48 to 32 rebounds that's right so i told them if you don't think that that matters not only did we more than cut our turnovers in half from the first half to the second half but we more than doubled their turnovers that's right when we look because sean keeps up with the other team's turnovers too and the other team's rebounds so when we looked at the other team's turnovers in the first half compared to the second half we more than doubled their turnovers from the first half to the second half and we reduced ours by more than half that's right and that, you know that's the key well, man, the girls just come out, and not to take nothing away from Charlton because they played a great first-half game. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they kept us from getting the ball down in the paint any. Uh, they had a great game plan. They doubled Dorsey all night. They doubled Dean. Uh, you know, they, they had a game plan in that 2-3 zone that they ran the majority of the night that they were going to double our post any time they got it. They were going to dare us to shoot that's outside. Right. Well, man, now tonight you got the three-headed monster. Hey. <laughs> You got Jakari Moore and William from Atkinson County, and I think they hit nine threes last night. Mm. I mean, they're just one of the best outside shooting teams I've seen in a long time. Right. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, you pick your poison. You know, I, I don't know. I was telling everybody I'm glad I don't have to coach tonight. I, I don't know if you put – Lock them down man to man and put I don't know what you do. Well, first of all, there's no such thing as locking down number two and number three. That's right. You don't lock them down. <laughs> you know, uh, you can try to limit what they do. Well, brother, they shoot threes not at the line. They're like NBA threes beyond the line. I'm talking four or five feet. Thank you, bud. Tell Miss Dolly, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, man, it ought to be a great game because they, they're playing with a lot of confidence now. And, of course, they should be. We're, we're the defending state champion, and so we got that big bullseye on the back, like you were saying. Uh, uh, and you know the crowd, they're already starting to show up here anyway. It's going to be packed tonight. Yeah, it should be fun. But now, Chase, with the win last night, we're guaranteed at least one home game. That's right. Well, man, we need to do all we can to get that number one seed because we want to we want to dodge early or Terrell County as long as you two. have to. Yeah, we want to dodge those two in the second round. Uh, and that, would, of course, would be on the road. Yeah, if you had to play them, if you finish number two seed. Uh, man, what do you think about this game? Charlton looking good in this one. They're up now, thirty-seven to twenty-eight. Uh, Turner just, they cannot get a shot to go in the basket. They, they've got good looks. It just won't go in. And we were like that in the first half last night. 
it was like the rim was smaller than the one we were shooting at. We could not get a basket. Yeah, I, I don't know what goes on with our shooting because at practice, I mean, we came around, we came in here at one o'clock today and had a shoot around. And I mean, we shot pretty dang well, you know, <laughs> like in the shoot around. And um, I, I don't know if our girls, if the adrenaline and the emotion, especially to start the game, if you look at Magby, she had a couple of drives last night and the ball, and then good looking drives down the baseline and then had a, had a little pull up floater or a jump shot, mid range jump shot, and it went five feet over the goal. That's right, yeah. I don't know if it's just <laughs> the adrenaline and everything that's going. Um, man, if we uh, whatever if we settled down at halftime, man, and come out and started playing some Panther basketball, and uh, I made the comment, I said, "Man, we'll know in the first three or four minutes what's fixing to happen here." And brother, we come out and we look like a different team, and we waited. I thought you'd gonna get a tech because we were coming into the gym so late. I said, "Well." Coach Chase is keeping them in there a little bit longer. <laughs> so, I just had a lot I had to say. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, brother, you got Atkinson County tonight, man. And uh, Coach JB has done a great job over there bringing the tradition back. And it looks like that rival's fixing to pick back up between Atkinson and Clint for a little bit down the road, not just tonight, this season, but for years to come. Man, he's done a great job over there. Um, He's a class act, you know. We just we we got some great we got some good coaches in this in this region. Oh man. my lord, yeah. You know we really do. Uh, and, and man, you know all four of these teams are they're going to be competitive in the first round, one through four. Uh, you know it's hard to go to Turner to win and. Uh, Hard to go to Charlton and win. We know that firsthand. We went over there, and you got to play good basketball to beat the Indians. But, man, we appreciate you taking some time. I know, and here they come back at 39-32. Uh, what time the girls got to be here at the gym? I told them to be here by 530. We don't play till 7 or after. So y'all get through now? Do you y'all eat before the game, or are you just gonna do? Well, no. That's why I told them to. Uh, that's why I told them that they didn't have to be here till 5:30, where they could kind of eat on their own. A lot of them, you know, got their same type of routine they want to do. That's right. And, you know, just, we don't want to. We don't really want to venture off from what we do for a normal home game. You know, we want to keep it as consistent. Uh, you know, we're creatures of habit, so. Well, man, you've done a great job this year playing for another region title. Man, good luck to you. We appreciate you taking the time to come talk to us, man. We love you, and uh, good luck tonight with the Lady Panthers. All right. I just want to give a shout-out to the seniors real quick, man. That's right. You know, this is their fourth region championship in a row they've played for. Man, you know, I, and they've won how many? All but one. All but one. That's something, man. That's And that's, that's Dorsey. That's Dorsey Cupcake, Asia, and Lorana. Mm. Gonna be some to miss. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh well, yeah. Oh man, we sure gonna be pulling for y'all tonight. God well, bless you, and we'll see you here in a little bit, man. We hope to be able to say that uh, they only lost one, that's even after right. tonight. Hey, that's right. Well, good <laughs> luck to you, coach. All right, man. All right, hey. man. All right, bye bye. There you go, folks. That's Coach Chase Daniel, the head ball coach of the Clinch County Panthers. We appreciate him taking time to come talk to us a little bit. We got a timeout, so we'll take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. All right, here we go, folks. 39-32. Turner's coming out. Trying to get back in this game. 
Man, I got to give a shout out to Miss Dolly Lee, Big K's wife. She sent me a whole container of this white chocolate corn puff, and I'm going to eat every bit of it. <laughs> every, Matt, no, Dolly's, yeah, I'll give you one piece, man. <laughs> mm. It is delicious, folks. Only thing is, you got to have a Coca Cola to have with it. All right, Turner now, cut it at five, 39, 34. Mm. They get it to steal down low. She'll put it up for the Indians. 41 34 now. Charlton will stop the bleeding a little bit. Lawson with the ball. She'll dribble in wide open, lays it up. Oh, in and out, won't go. Hamilton with the rebound for the Indians. She lost it. Back to Edwards. Edwards off the backboard, up and in. 41-36 now. Turner's in a press. Five-second violation. Turner will have it. Man, Charlton looks exactly like they did last night. They played great basketball in the first half. Up by double digits and have come out here in the third quarter and let Turner right back in it, just like they did the Panthers. Edwards with the ball. There's a steal now by the Indians. Hamilton, oh, hard falling. They tied up. It'll be a foul on number one. That's Williams for Turner. That will put Hamilton back at the free throw line. <clears throat> nope, not a free throw. Battle will bring it in. The Indians have it. They get it in. That's number 22 for Charlton. Oh, they're going to get it. Drive in there. Nope, she traveled. No basket. All right, here comes Turner, 41-36. Indians on top. Edwards driving, no basket. She traveled. Two minutes to play in the third. Hamilton with the ball. Oh, good save. Battle got it to Hamilton. Nope, here comes it. Titans now back on this end. Edwards driving in, got it. 41-38 now, one possession. The press is kind of working on the Indians a little bit. Oh, Fowler will tip that one away. Here comes Turner, Lawson with the ball. Trying to throw it up. Knocked out of bounds by Battle. Turner will have it. They can tie it up with a three here. They get it in. Knox with the steal. Here come the Indians. She'll dribble around, lays it up. Got it. Good shot by Knox. 43-38 now. That's going to be a foul. They're going to call that one on number 22. That is Humphreys. I don't know how many she has. After this game, uh, folks, we're going to just let the screen go and take a little break and get ready for the boys game. That'll be for third place. That's going to be against Charlton and Turner also. Good shot there by number four, Edwards. 43 to 40. 110 to play in the third. Hamilton with the ball. She'll kick it back out in the battle. 
Back over to Humphreys. Got it to Knox. Knox. We got a foul. That's going to be on number four for Turner. That's... No, number one. Excuse me, Williams. Indians will keep the possession. 43-40, Charlton on top. There's a shot. Make it 45-40 to 40 now. Under a minute to play in the third. Here comes Turner. Wide open, down low, good pass. Got it down to that was number three, Martin. Great pass. Lawson trying to get the steal. That was Edwards that threw it to Martin. 45-42. 34 seconds to play here in the third. Battle with the ball now for the Indians. Hamilton trying to get it back. That'll be backcourt. Humphreys will get it, but it's backcourt. Turner has it. 21 seconds to play here in the third. Lawson coming back in the game now for Turner. Good pass, got it back. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Mm, that's going to be on Hamilton. 14 seconds to play. Lawson will bring it in. Looking for some help. Got it to Fowler. Long three. Boom! Got it. We're all tied up. 45 45. Fowler got it to fall. Number three will steal it. That's going to do it. For the third quarter, she got it off, almost went in. We got a self a game, folks. We'll be back in 60 seconds. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right. Turner with the ball. They can take the lead back here. Long three off the back of the rim won't go. Knocked out of bounds. I think Fowler hit it, so the Indians will have it. 45-45. We're up over 1,000 people watching Creek Box tonight. We appreciate everybody in or this afternoon. It'll be night here in a little bit. Hamilton drives in, the Indians back out in front, 47-45. Turner with the ball. Lawson with it. Over to Smith, back to Lawson. Battle slaps at it, almost took it. Lawson drives in, throws one up and got it. 47-47 now. Battle with the ball for the Indians. Trying to get it down, we got a foul on number five. That'll be Turner, that's gonna be Lawson.
Here we go. Knox with the ball. Needing some help. Trying to get it down low to Steele. Overthrew it. Here comes Turner. Good job, Lawson, all the way to the basket. Turner back out front, 49-47. They get it to Hamilton. Hamilton, good job saving it. She's going to drive in. They're going to call the foul. That'll be on Hamilton. Here comes Turner now. Smith bringing it down. She'll give it over to Lawson. Smith will take a shot off the back of the rim. Lawson with the rebound. She'll put it up and in. 51-47 now. Turner on top. Battle. There's another steal. That'll be by Edwards. She'll get it back to Lawson. She's got a hot hand now. She's at the last three baskets. Here come the Indians. Hamilton back down. Fowler will block it. Went out of bounds. Good hustle by Fowler to get back and block it. See what we got. A foul. Nope, that'll be shooting. They're in the bonus now, I guess. Oh, they might have called a tech on the Indians. That's what they've done. They have called a tech on Charlton County. Man, that's big. 51-47. In Turner on top. They trailed by 10 at the half, folks. And as many as 12 and 14, I think. Fowler's second shot on the way. Got it. 52-47. What bad turn on keep the ball also. Martin with the ball. Back to Edwards. She traveled. That'll be a turnover. Battle will bring it in for the Indians. She'll get it over to Hamilton. Hamilton coming down. Drives in, throws it up, won't go. Fowler with the rebound. Here comes Turner. Fowler at the free throw line. She'll pull up, short, out of bounds. Indians will have it. 52-47. Turner on top. Battle bringing it down for Charlton. Almost did backcourt. That's another turnover. Fowler with the ball over to Smith. She'll throw up a 15-footer. Got it. 54-47 now. Timeout. Charlton County wants a 60-second timeout. We'll be back in just a second. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. All right, here we go. 54 to 50 now. Turner on top of Charlton. Five minutes to play. Edwards with the ball. 
We'll get it back to Lawson. Double dribble. That'll be a turnover. Indians trying to get back in it. They were down by seven. They're back to a four-point game. Humphreys getting it in the battle. Battle. She'll pull up at the free throw line. Oh, it went in and come out. Fowler with the rebound. Here comes Turner. Smith all the way. Lays it up. Won't go. We got a jump ball. That was number 22. Humphreys had it. Battle with the ball. Here come the Indians back. 54-50. They get it to Hamilton. Good block by Fowler. Here come Turner. Edwards will back away now. Back over to Smith. Lawson with the ball. Got it to Fowler. Turn around. 12-footer. Got it. 56-50 now. Turner on top. Charlton needs to answer now. They get it out to Knox. Knox looking. Got it to Hamilton. Hamilton in the paint. Trying to get it to steal out of bounds. Indians will keep it though. 56-50. 3.57 to play. Humphrey to bring it in. Got it to steal. Good job there by Lawson. She stole it. Knocked out of bounds. Knox knocked it out of bounds. Turner will keep it. Harding will come in now for Turner. Long shot for Turner. Won't go out of bounds. Indians have it. 344 to play. Got to have a basket. Got to cut into it. Battle with the ball. Wide open. Knox under the basket. Oh, she'll draw a foul, though. Knox at the free throw line. First shot on the way. Got it. Good shot. 56-51 now. Turner leading. Second shot on the way for Knox. Got them both. Big free throws for Charlton. 56-52 now. Three minutes, 30 seconds to play in the game. Edwards with the ball. She'll give it up to Martin. Martin way across to Lawson. Overshot it. Battle with the rebound for the Indians. Here comes Charlton. Oh, that's going to be a foul. That's going to be on Lawson. She's getting close, folks. I didn't keep up with fouls. She's got to have four. Fowler coming back in the game now for Turner. Williams will take a seat. 56-52. Charlton needing a basket now. Long three. Off the rim won't go. Fowler with the rebound. Indians get it. Knox has it. Second chance here. She needs some help. Got it to bat on. Let's see. Knocked out of bounds. Indians will keep it. Battle's going to bring it in. Got it to Hamilton. Hamilton dribbled through one, and that'll be a foul on Fowler, I think. Yep. Hamilton at the free throw line for Charlton. 56-52. Charlton needs these two. At least one of them. First shot on the way. Off the back of the rim. Won't go. Second shot for Hamilton. Won't go. Knox with the rebound. She'll put it back up. It won't go. Humphreys has it. Or not the Humphreys. Excuse me. That was Lambert. Battle with the ball now. Two minutes, 40 seconds to play. 
Charlton down by four. Hamilton drives in, off the backboard, got it. Two point game now, folks, 56 54. 2.30 to play. Here comes Turner. She'll give it to Lawson. She's had the hot hand. Over to Martin. Martin to Fowler. Long three off the rim. Won't go. Battle had it. Lost it. Jump ball. Turner has the possession. Lawson driving in, throws it up, won't go. Jump ball, Charlton has it. Oh, they're going to call a tech on Charlton. Oh, let's see who it's on. 23, Hamilton, that's her second tech. She had the, they had the possession, I don't know why. Twenty-three. She'll have to sit out. That's her second tech. She'll be disqualified now, I think. The tech where she threw the ball hard to the court. Fowler back at the the shoot. The, won't go. Second shot on the way. Fifty-six. Fifty-four. Two-point game. Try that right there. Second shot on the way, won't go. I'm <laughs> good. 56-54, Turner has the possession also. Charlton trying to hang around and steal one. Fowler with an NBA three. 59-54 now. Under two minutes. Knox with the ball for the Indians. All the way to the basket, she'll draw a foul. Mm. Clanton says it's getting sloppy late. It is a little bit, brother. Turner was down. That was her second kick. She got one in the third quarter. 59-55 now. Second shot coming for Knox. On the way, got them both, good job. 59-56, one possession, we'll take a break and we'll be back in just a second. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. 59-56. Indians trying to hang around. They led the whole first half. Get her! Turner with the ball. She'll throw up a 10-footer off the backboard. Won't go. They got the rebound. Oh, they're going to call a jump ball. Boy, that's quick. Charlton has the possession. Three-pointer tied up here. Here come the Indians. Battle with the ball. 
She'll dribble around, and there's another turnover. Man, that's been the story the second half for the Indians. Steal a steal it. Got it to Knox. Knox trying to lay it up. Knocked out of bounds. Charlton to keep it hard. Fall there by number four, Edwards. 121 to play in the game. 59-56. Steal with the ball. Won't go. Got her own rebound. Got it. A one-point game. 59-58. 110 to play. Turner leading by one. Oh, slow it down. Plenty of time on the shot clock. 20 seconds. 59 seconds in the game. They're going to throw it. Oh, that's going to be a foul on Knox. Let's see. I know that's at least number four. Knox with probably eight points tonight, maybe ten. Big free throws here for Lawson for Turner. 59-58, Turner on top. First shot on the way, got it. 60-58. Mackey will check in for the Indians. Steele will sit down, probably because they shoot a three. Big free throw here for Turner. Collins getting ready to check in for Turner. Second shot on the way. She'll miss that one. Knox with the rebound. Indians, all they need is a basket to tie it up. Oh, and there's another steal. Smith had it. Lost it out of bounds. Let's see. Charlton will have it back, 47 seconds. Collins will come in the game now. Lawson will go to the bench, limping. Steele's coming into the game. Let's see who's coming out. Mackey will come out. Battle will bring it in for the lady inning. Back to her. Oh, and threw it behind Steele out of bounds. Another Indian turnover. Sixty fifty-eight. Turner on top. I get it to Edwards. Edwards trying to drive. Clock is running. Turner wants a timeout. We'll take a thirty-second timeout. We'll be back. We'll be back in just a second. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off. Alright, here we go. 35 seconds. 60-58. Turner on top. They get it in to number three. That's Martin. They'll throw it. That'll be a foul. That's going to be on steel, I think. Let's see. Yep. No, 25. That is Hamilton. No, excuse me. That's Lambert. Hamilton's already out. Big free throws here for Martin. Turner needs them. First one on the way. Got it. Three-point game now, 61-58. <clears throat> Steele will come out. Mackey back in the game. Martin, second free throw on the way. Got them both. Now it's a two-possession game. 
62-58, you got to hurry up and shoot. Battle dribbled around trying to get it to Knox, can't, you just got to get it in the basket. Battle will throw up a long three, off the rim won't go. Turner with the rebound, 15 seconds. Battle with a foul, 12 seconds to play. 62-58, looks like Turner's gonna get this one, folks. They'll finish in the number three position in the region. Charlton will still make the state playoffs. They'll be the number four seed. Edwards. you missed the first one. They're up by four, 62-58. Second free throw on the way, got it. 63-58, that'll be a one minute timeout. We're gonna take a break folks and we'll be back. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community. All right, here we go. 63-58, 12 seconds left in the game. Indians have it. They need a three and a two. 10 seconds, clock is running. They get it over to Knox, she'll throw it. Trying to get it to steal, Fowler will steal it, and that's gonna do it, folks. Three seconds left. They're gonna call a foul on number 25. The game's over, Lambert. I just run it off. They need to fix that rule. When the game's over and you got just a second or two, it's about, they're gonna call a tech. That'll be the third technical foul against Charlton tonight. Dawson at the free throw line, she'll miss her first one. All right, 64-58, Turner with the ball. They just got to run out three seconds, man. There you go, just hold the ball. That's going to do it. Turner will finish number three. The Indians will fall to four. Folks, we're going to take a 15-minute break. Just look at the camera. You'll hear no sound, and we'll be back in a little bit.
the headset on. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Boys TV. Let's see right here. There we go. We are getting ready for game okay. two between Charlton County Boys and the Turner County Boys. This will be for third place also. We're getting ready for tipped off. It looks like Charlton County will be in their white uniforms. Turner County will be in their black uniform. We got my buddy A.C. Cooper, the Holmville Clinch County Recreation Director, helping me. A.C., we appreciate you tuning in. What happened today with the basketball teams? Uh, we, we had a eight U girl, eight U boys that played today, and they ended up losing today. And then we had our ten U girls playing, and they they lost today. So um, we still got three teams in. Um, the, the eight U boys, they kind of young, and, and, and as well as the ten U girls. I mean, and they ended up playing like the, the um, state champions from the eight U last year. So they played a really oh, good man. team. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, man, this ought to be a good game here, AC. They ought to match up well. Charlton played us, man, for three quarters last night, then they went stone cold. That boy right there, number one, Braddock, son, he'll shoot your eyes out. Yeah, I, I watched a good bit of that game last night. Charlton, uh, Charlton got a really good team. I mean, if they, if they hitting, they, they, I mean, if they hitting them threes, they, they really, really trouble then. I mean. Do what? I say when when they making the, the the threes, they they a lot they they a handful. They are man. That they are uh, they defensed us very well in the first half, and uh, finally we opened it up in the second half. And uh, when you got R.J. got hot from the outside, man, and that's going to be the key to tonight's game again when we play Lanier. The boys uh, is hitting them outside shots. Yeah. I, I agree. RJ, I mean, last couple of games, he's been playing really well. I mean, shooting the ball really well. All right. Jumping for Turner. Number three will be jumping for the Indians. That's Gibbs. Nope, they're swapping it up now. Number 12, Moody. I'm sorry, I got the wrong sheet right there. I'll get that one back in a little bit. Turner with the ball. Here they come. Jess underway. The next game will be the girls' game. Here we go. Let's see, no foul. That was knocked out of bounds. Turner with the ball now. They get it across half court. Get it over to Val. Long three pointer off the back of the rim. Won't go. Indians with the rebound. Here comes Charlton. Look out, Braddock, short. Take a picture of that. He don't do that often. Turner coming back down there across half court. Trying to get it inside, number two, trying to get in the paint, won't go. Foul back with the ball drive in, good pass. Oh, and he missed the layup. We're gonna have a jump ball. Man, that was a great pass. AC couldn't convert it. Yeah, he put too much on that one, Alan. I, I think he was surprised by how, how wide open he was. That, uh, hey, I tell you what, that backboard helped him. That glass helped a lot, though. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why the, it's like people don't want to use it. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I learned to shoot. <laughs> All right, Indians with the ball. They get it to Martin. Turner will play some good defense. They're just aggressive. Down low, can't get nothing to go. We're still scoreless here. Here come the Titans. Trying to put it up, it won't go. Still won't go. They got three or four cracks at it, didn't I'm they? telling you. Braddock with the ball for the Indians. Here come Charlton. All right, we're going to stay right here. So, AC, when would the other ones play? Um, the 10 boys will play Monday. Um, and the girls, 12 girls, I think they play Wednesday. And then the 12 boys will play Friday. And, um, yeah, 
And I, I, I mean, the twelve U boys. I mean, they gonna they gonna be a hard out. I mean, they they they'll be pretty tough. And I think the twelve U girls and the ten U boys got a chance. But the twelve U boys, they they solid. They a, a good bit of those uh, middle school kids that won a couple of championships. So they, I think I think they'll they'll probably hope be able to hold their own. And I'm hoping the girls will too, because the girls got a good team too. I mean, they they solid from one from top to bottom. And brother, they already starting baseball. Yeah, man, we we getting signed up here. We're gonna try to do a little, little, little couple of day count for the ones that's already signed up and ready to go. And I mean, whoever want to get involved, in the, um, it don't cost a penny. I mean, all you got to do is show up. We're gonna put it out there probably next week sometime and try to get going, with the, get get them going for the ones that want to come out early. Well, good, man. Hey, see, was there a softball tournament today, or did they cancel it because of the weather? Actually, that, that, it was. Um, we're doing a benefit tournament for my buddy, uh, Blake Pittman, man, um, trying to help him out with his, with his little stuff that he's got going on. He's, he's under the weather real bad right now, and we've been praying for him and hoping everything um, work out for him and all. So we, um, some guys got together wanted to do a benefit tournament for him today. Well, brother, we finally get a basket. Now Turner leading two to nothing. Let's see if that broke the cold for both teams. Here come the Titans. They lead two to nothing. Bow with the ball back down. Get it out. Trying to get it inside. The Indians will steal it. No, Turner got it back. Good shot there. Number 10, Hillman. Braddock with the ball, bringing it down for the Indians. Got it over to Martin. Oh, good pass by Martin. Good defense. Uh, AC, man, that can't be a jump ball, man. <laughs> what in the world? When did they change that around, man? Well, sometimes we get caught early. That's called a block shot, brother, back in the day. <laughs> Turner on top, four to nothing. I'm Indians will steal it back. Here they come. Long three off the rim won't go. Turner with the rebound. Another turnover. Back down this way. Lays it up and in. And one. Mm. I, thought he, I thought he might have lowered that shoulder a little bit right there, Alan, on that Yeah, one. it looked like he was leading yeah. blocking. <laughs> yeah, he, he initiated the contact for sure. Four to two now. Children trying to make it a three-point play. Martin at the free throw line for Charlton. I think that's what the uh, the Turner coach is uh, telling the referee right there, Alan. Yeah. Because he, he definitely, he, he put that shoulder down and went into him. Trying to, trying to draw the foul. That's right. He's going to try to get that next call. <laughs> Are you telling Scott how to talk to the referee? That's how you talk to the referee. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, he missed that one. Man. Charlton came by one. You can't call Scott. Scott, you got to call him Bobby Cox, man. Yeah, that's right. That's he's, right. He's, he's Bobby Cox now, not Scott to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm going to interview our head ball coach here in a little bit, Coach Terrence George, if David ever gets through eating down here. Well, he can, he can sure enough chew and swallow at the same time. <laughs> he, I seen him just then down there by the bathroom. He said he was headed to the uh, – Headed to the room right there. Man, it fathered him it, like a little young at Christmas. <laughs> Good shot there. <laughs> We're all tied up four apiece now. Here come Turner. Can't get it. And Turner done missed a lot of baskets right up under the goal. I mean, I'm telling you, you got to make them baskets. Mm -hmm. 
I'm wondering when they'll play the first round of the playoffs. Will it be Tuesday or Wednesday? It's, it's probably going to be the first part of the week. I, I can imagine it will be anyway. I remember a couple years ago when we was one seed, and I think we ended up playing like on a Thursday or something like that, if I ain't mistaken. Because they'll turn around and play again on Saturday. On Saturday, yeah, that's right. Long three by the Indians, won't go. Turner coming back down the court. Long three, got a piece of that one, messed it up. Charlton needing a basket. Martin with the ball. 250 to play in the first, and we've had eight total points scored. Both teams struggling, AC. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they're playing good defense. I mean, and they're missing a lot of, lot of point blank range shots, too, though. Man. Oh, that should have been a foul. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, somebody else heard you on that one. I heard him say, what about yeah. it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I wouldn't want to have the referee's job, but I can no, tell you that. No, sir. Mm. No, sir. Not as quick as they get up and down the court. <laughs> Good. Back door. He can't get it off, man. He just threw that one up. Finally got it to go. Alan, I, was, I heard something about uh, the... the Part of the tournament that's held at, um, that, at VSU, was, is it going to be moved to um, Fort Valley? It is. Some... It's going to be in Fort Valley this oh, year. Wow. Man, they messed man, that up, they did. man. Yeah. You yeah, already crazy. have to go to Macon <laughs> for the state title. So it's only fair to host the Final Four down south. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Go. We got some subs coming in. 136 to play. <laughs> Get it all down now. Eat it all. He ain't gonna leave a crumb. <laughs> <laughs> they say when he finished that, he'll be ready. <laughs> hey, he ain't coming back down till after the night. <laughs> they say I'm headed to the hospitality room. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Brother, it has, I bet it's wet at the rec park because it has rained. It started last night and hadn't let up none. You know that one out there, that left out there before I come out here, man, it is. It's some Good. kind of wet out there. Steady shower. And they about done, though. They was almost in the championship game when I left, so. Boy, you'll have clay all in the bathroom. It'll bathroom, take you two days yeah. to clean that out. Bathrooms all over the concrete and everywhere, man. I went out and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's for a good cause. I That's mean, right. That's yeah. right, man. Yeah. And we want to remember, Blake, y'all please keep him in your thoughts and prayers. That's, that's my old buddy. We, we rode the equipment um, um, truck together going to the games. I don't know that's what I'm right. going to do without him. Uh, he'll be back at it him for long, maybe. Another turnover. AC has 20 turnovers in this first game here in the first quarter. Wow. That's why you don't have many points. That's why the score what it is right now. That's there. right. Seven to six. Charlton on top. Turner right back down. They'll take the lead back. Eight to six. Come the Indians. Long three. Overshot it. Long pass. Indians have it back. Let's see, we got a foul, I think, on number four. 41 seconds to play. Turner on top, eight to seven. Seven seconds difference in the shot clock and the play clock. There's a long three, can't get it to go. Indians with a rebound. There's a steal. Got it. 10 to seven, Turner on top now. Needs some help. Another turnover. I tell you what, they letting them play, Ellen. They are, they letting them play. 
Who was that on, AC? That was number five. Three seconds to play here in the first quarter. That's on number five, Ellen. Number five for Turner. He wasn't set. He, he, moved, he tried to get there, but he wasn't set. Oh, he'll miss the first one. He'll miss them both. Turner going to try to get a long one off, intercepted, and that's going to do it, folks. We'll be back. Scott, hit them two middle buttons again for me, baby. We'll be back in just a second. Be merry this holiday season at the Merry Acres, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday-themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. It's some corn puffs and white chocolate, baby. All right, here we go. Turner on top, 10 to seven. Long three by Braddock. Turner right back down, we got a foul. That's gonna be on Braddock. 12 to seven and one here. Braddock a little bit off tonight, um, Adam. He is. Questions, will he be off all night? That's on 24 at the free throw line. I don't have that young man's name. I know these kids are tired. They see they were here all day yesterday, left, probably got home about 12, 31 o'clock and back here again today. Yeah. Oh, it won't go hey, down. Hey, hey this, this time you got to suck it up, though. You can't get tired right now. No, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> This, I think, plan coming up. I mean, this was the funnest time of the season, right? Here, to be that's honest. right. That's right. Couldn't wait till the next day to play again. Turner trying to add to it. 13 to 7. Biggest lead of the night. Indians will have it. My buddy Terrence George will be up here in a minute. I know he's excited. Last night's win, Indians with the ball. That's number two. Jamari got it out to 12. Jumper will not go. Charlton can't buy a shot. That was Lane. Good pass, back door under 24, AC, my, you got to make them. Turner's had an opportunity to put this one away. Good block. Hey, Allen, I just got a text from one of my brothers who wanted to know why Bobby Cox didn't have a headset. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got one big enough. <laughs> they don't make them big enough. Hey. <laughs> 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 Good shot there by number two. That's Jamari. <laughs> Martin with the ball. He's going to try to drive in and lays it up. Won't go. Val has it. Here comes Turner. 15 to 7. Six minutes to play in the first half. 15 too much. There's another steal by Turner. 
And another turnover. Boy, I don't think either team really playing that good, AC. Yes, yeah, well, it's just kind of sloppy. I mean, turnovers and back and two turnovers, really. Lane who, 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 will finally who, get it. Who won the series? I mean, the season series between these two teams. I think they may have split. A Charlton is the home team, so they're the number three. That means they beat Turner in the regular season. So, and, man, Charlton's got a good team. They match up well against the Panthers. Boom! There's Martin with a three. 15 to 12. They'll take a 30-second timeout. We'll be back in just a second. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy truck are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at WalkerJonesChevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. All right, folks, here we go. Turner on top, 15 to 12. Charleston trying to make a run and get back in it. There's a turnover, here come the Indians. Martin with the ball, good pass to number two, lays it up and in, up good work there. That was Jamari with the basket, a one point game now. 15 to 14, Turner on top. Number four in the paint will take the shot. Can't get it. Another offensive rebound. They're going to call that on Martin. Yep. Got my man Carl coming in, Ellen. Who? Carl McGowan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a good fella. Done a yeah. great job. Yeah. I see you know Locklear last night for Lanier, number one. <laughs> How about it, bud? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hurt his ankle, and they said it's a high ankle sprain, AC boy. It's going to be hard to play on that. And, man, he is a ball player for Lanier. It's yeah. really going to hurt them if he's not on the court tonight for the Bulldogs. You, you, hate, to, you hate to see injuries like that. That's I mean, right, at this, man. At this point of the season and all, because you want, it, want every team to have a fair shake. That's I mean. right. And you want to beat them when they're at their best, yeah. not, not when they're wounded. Mm -hmm. And Coach Terrence George will be the first one to say that. Mm -hmm. Braddy, oh, that's going to be a foul. That was a good, hey, that was, that was a good, uh, uh, good yeah. technique tackle there. Yeah. <laughs> I thought for a minute he might have been trying to act like he was going to shoot the ball. <laughs> All right, Lane with the ball now for the Indians. Tomorrow, back over to Braddock, back to Martin. Martin looking. He'll pull it up. Off the rim, won't go. Here comes Turner. Turner leading 17 to 14 now. Four minutes to play in the first half. Out of bounds. I tell you what, Charlton went into that one, two, two trap. And um, they, they've got them turning it over pretty good. Yeah. Right now. yeah. They can't, they're having trouble getting it down the court. Mm -hmm. Here come the Indians now. Martin back to Jamari. Jamari's going to pull up. Got it to Lane. Braddock, three, off the rim, won't go. Rebound, Turner. Turnover, Turner. Braddock, another one, won't go. He's cold right yeah. now. I'll mm. tell you, you're going to give him enough look, he'll yeah. get one in a minute. Yeah. It ain't going to take one. He might. He probably need to try to drive and get him something easy, get him a layup, see something go through the, go through the rim and probably settle him down. It ain't, no, right. it ain't no doubt he can shoot it. Sometimes it, it rolls like that. I don't care how great. I seen Steph Curry only have like eight points through like three quarters of the night, and that ain't that don't happen very seldom. So I seen him come out the locker room and warm up and shoot a full court and make it the other night. Yeah. You see that when they yeah. see? Yeah, that's just that's just amazing. Yeah. Tell you what, Which, he, he, how he, many he does he shoot a day? You man, think? he 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 is the best shooter that I ever seen. Like literally, I just you just never seen nobody shoot the ball like him. He'll come out at, at in in, um, in the corner like. 
Yeah, the moves corner, around. And shoot it out of the corner, out of the locker room, and throw it up into the goal end. That's just unreal. I've but he do that every day. He'll Steph start Curry. from the full court mm -hmm. to the first foul line, the half court. I've seen him do that and make every one of them. But he practiced all that. All the stuff you see him do, he practiced that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He probably shoots, what, <laughs> 2,500 shots a day. There's no telling. Turner's going to dump in some subs. How y'all doing? Lane at the free throw line, 19 to 14. Turner on top of the Indians, rebound. Charlton struggling to put the ball in the hoop. Bow with the ball now for Turner. He'll get it down there to number five. That's Clarkson. Lays it up and in. 21-14. Turner by a touchdown. Patrick Kimball. Can we get the score? I'm sorry, Patrick. 21 to 14. Daniel's not here to put the score on the board. I don't think David can work the scoreboard. <laughs> so we're not going to let him touch that. If we can keep him out of that, uh, out of that, that hot stanley, we'll be yeah. back and get him right. <laughs> There's a three-point by Martin. That's two for him tonight. 21-17 now. Turner on top. Right. I'm with you on that, brother. <laughs> we better keep that to ourselves. Yeah, brother. that's right. That's right. We won't be able to get out of this place. Mm. 21-17, Turner on top of the Indians. The next game will be the girls' game. It'll be for the region championship between Clinch and Atkinson. Martin will give it off to Hamilton. He traveled. I thought he oh, did. Man. He, he, he took a couple steps and never put it on the floor. Yeah, that game tonight going to be interesting, Alan. I, I watched the girls last night, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, we got to get right. <laughs> yes, we sir. definitely can't go in tonight. You know, we got to we gotta start we gotta start off good. You know, We don't need to get behind early by a big margin or anything. Man, I see. When you watching the game last night, Charlton would jump up and drop the ball. Yeah, I've seen Is that, that legal? Yeah. I mean, what's the rule on that, man? I, I, I don't know. I've seen that called a million times, and last night I seen it. They I did it three it, times. I seen it not called the first time last night. When they just would jump up, and they would they would drop the ball before they come down. Well, but, I, actually, you shouldn't be able to touch the ball again. It shouldn't have to be touched by another player before you can actually do anything with it again. That's basically just double dribble, really. Uh, well, that's what Terrence was wanting them to call. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sean McCall's half court, man. Hey, what is that? Every dog uh, have a sunny day every now and then. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Martin with the ball. Get it to Jamari. Jamari looking. Clock, we're under a minute and a half. 21 17. Turner on top, another three by the Indians, won't go. Martin will throw up another one. That one's short. Boy, that joke was quick. Mm. Here comes Turner. It's like somebody done put a lid on the, on the, on the charge. I end. am telling you, man. But it's like that on both ends, they see. Under a minute now. Number five will pull up. Can't get it to go. That was Dawson. Helen, I want to give a shout out to my coaches that helped me at the park. And yeah, all, man, and absolutely. All yeah, and I want to let them know how much I appreciate all they're doing. Uh, without them, man, I mean, I don't know what I would do. I mean, even though we come up short in my girl, my AU boys and 10 U girls today, I, I want to let my coaches and all let them know how much I appreciate all they do. 
Absolutely, brother. Cause you know that creates a headache when you ain't got good coaches. Yeah, hey, and we got yeah. some good coaches. I mean, and dedicated coaches. I mean, some of the ones that I got now have been with me for probably ever since I've been there, man. And I can dependability means everything. And them them guys have stuck with me through thick and thin. And I I want to just tell them how much I appreciate them. You know. Well, good, man. 40 second clock running, 21 17. Turner with the ball. Long three by the Titan, got it. Bow with the three for Turner. 24 17 now. Jamari down low to Tolliver. Back to Jamari, won't go. Oh, that's going to be a foul. That'll put number three, Hamilton, at the free throw line for the Indians. 18 seconds to play here in the first half. First shot up and in by Hamilton. Foul tying his shoe. He fouled out last night. He always plays hard. That's number one for Turner. Hamilton's second shot will go in. 24-19 now. Turner on top. Come the Titans. 10 seconds. Double dribble. Turner will turn it over 6.4 seconds. Charlton would love to hit a big one here going into halftime. You can see everybody showing up now. This place is going to fill up yeah. quick, AC. I, I know a lot of people, they're waiting to see both of these games, the girls and, and, and the boys' game. Should be pretty, two pretty good games, though, I mean. I like them when they're close like that. Martin with the ball. He's hit two threes. He's going to throw one up, won't go with 17th. We all got a foul on Martin. A charge. That's going to do it probably 17th of a second. I don't know if they can get one off here. He'll throw it up. And it won't go, so at the half, it's Turner County 24, Charlton County 19. We'll be back in 10 minutes. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912 Four eight seven five eight two two.
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. I got my buddy and the head ball coach for the Clinch County Panthers. Hey, man, once again, man, man. we appreciate being on, man. Terrence, man, boy, it started off last night. It was a little little tight with Charlton. We matches up well with us, I think. Yeah, They, I they do a so. good job. Yeah, they do, man. Uh, but, man, come uh, second half, we, we, we pulled away. In Panther fashion, and 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 put them away, and uh, then you got to sit back and watch Lanier put uh, Turner out, and uh, you know that had been a close game all year between Lanier and Turner, but last night Lanier Turner just couldn't make a shot. Right, they couldn't make they couldn't make a bucket, man, and they had shot opportunities, oh. but they just could not, you know, find the rim to, to cash it in, man. Well, that's like tonight, both of the you got. Uh, Charlton and Turner tonight, they're having trouble, uh, both of them making baskets. I, I just don't, but man, I, I talked to Lanier's coach last night after the game and about their number one Locklear, the big guy. He said he had a high ankle sprain that he would probably try to go, but, but didn't know if he could or not. Yeah, you know, I saw when he went down, man, it's unfortunate, you know, in times like this because, you know, right here at the playoffs and things of that nature. Um, so, you know, the, the nature of which he's injured, I don't know. Um, but, man, you know, it happens, man. That's you right. You know, that's in th these games that these kids play, man, you know, injury is always a risk regardless of who it is, uh, regardless of the time, man, you know. That's right, man. And, and I know how you are, brother. You want to beat somebody at their best. You don't, you know, uh, uh, I mean, we, we just got a big win last week, one by 20 against Lanier, and it's going to be a packed house tonight. Kind of the same game plan you had going in last week? Uh, a little bit of the same, you know. Um, we'll look to make a few adjustments. Um, I did, you know, I was watching film earlier today and saw a few things that we can do differently. Uh, especially to start the game, you know, they, you know, um, last week when we played, when we, they started out on us um, like eight to one or something. That's like right, that. That's right, eight to one. And so I, I you know, I, I, I picked up on something that they wanted to do out the gate right there, and so we'll look to make adjustments for that, and just try to uh, make sure we don't give them an early lead, you know, and make it difficult for them to, to play score. from behind, like yeah. you said the first time. Make them play from behind. That's what we want to do. Well, now, did they do the same thing every time they play us? Have you seen where that they just run a certain way and that's what they're going to do or they head set this is our game plan and we're going to stick to it regardless of anything or uh for the past two games um it looked you know looked to be about the same game plan mm -hmm. um now they may have made slight variations to that but they depend heavily on the three-point shot yeah man and they um, were cold last night they were yeah true. And, you know, and I, and I get it, you know, ever since Golden State started their run, it's, it's kind of been this analytics things, you know, and it makes sense, you know. That's right. Your two-pointer versus my three-pointer. Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, those three-point shots, when you take them, they have to go in. And um, some people just completely live by that, you know, um, and live and die by the three-point line. That's right. Um, we try to have a balanced scoring, and uh, that's what we look forward to doing. Well, man, we're going to have a home playoff game no matter what happens tonight. That's right. Uh, we're guaranteed at least one. Of course, if we win, we could have as many as two, maybe three at the house. That's right. That's right. Uh, when will the playoffs start next week? Playoffs Coach? will start next Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday uh, will be the girls playing, and Wednesday the boys playing. And that will be at 6 o'clock? Uh, yes, most likely. 6 o'clock. And I want to remind everybody, next week we would love to bring it to you live. We'll be here, Creek Box, but we have to do it on the NFHS network. Because GHA, <laughs> they're going to be there, brother. You that's, know, that's GHSA, right. so, uh, it, they take over next week. So That's right. But, man, you can't beat it. You can one month for $12, and it'll finish up all the playoffs. All the playoffs. All the way to state finals. You know, and that's, all, that's, every, you know, that's only anybody that you can watch. You that's know? right. That's so. right. All over the United States, you yeah, can watch right. it. I mean, Mama's a member. She keeps it year-round. Uh, well, Coach, man, we appreciate you taking the time. We love you. Good luck tonight, man. Bring the region title back home. We haven't had one since. Uh, my last championship was in 2017. We've had a couple runner-ups uh, since then, uh, but we, you know, we look forward to uh, shaking that, you know, shaking that off our backs and, and bringing the trophy home to where it belongs. You know? Well, we're gonna be right here and watch you cut the nets down, baby. <laughs> All right, All man. Right, we appreciate man. it. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, Coach. All right, everybody. There goes Coach Terrence. We appreciate him stopping by. Uh, 
spending some time with us here on Creek Box. We're getting ready for the second half. Turner leading Charlton County 24 to 19. I'm going to take a quick break and we'll be back in just a second. All right, everybody, welcome back to the second half. Starting the third quarter, it's 24 to 19, Turner County on top. We appreciate Coach Terrence George stopping by, man. Yeah. Ellen, I just got myself in some trouble, man. Yeah, man, you're going to be speaking at all the engagements <laughs> now. Miss Debbie Heath, you don't know how much he talks. <laughs> he don't shut up. I had, him, I had him convinced that I didn't yeah. do very much talking, but I, I think I'd have spilled the beans, man. Hey, <laughs> you might have started off not talking at the rec park, but it didn't last. I can tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, they're going in on me, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, let's see. They've had a chance to coach both teams up. Who's going to come out here? Indians trying to get back in it. They're only down by six. Both teams playing sloppy, AC. Yeah, kind of, I think, just in the rest to try to make something happen. I mean, they're only down five points. I mean, I know, as bad as they're playing, they're only down, like you say. But I can, I can tell you, the, the effort is there. I mean, they, they really, both teams getting after each other. I mean, it's a little bit sloppy at the same time, but they, they, they going at it, though. All right, there's a shot by Turner. That's going to make it 26 to 19 now. If uh, Charlton can catch up on their three-pointers, man, if they ever get hot with Braddock, they can get right back in this thing. Braddock just having a tough night, Evan. That's right. But he got to continue to shoot the ball. I mean, he's, he's one yeah, of the Yeah, it ain't going to get no better until you yeah. start hitting them. That's yeah. right. Foul with the ball for Turner. 26-19. Make it now. Big shot. That was a three-pointer. 29-19. Biggest lead of the night. Here comes Turner right back with a steal. They get it to Val. Val looking at it now. There's another three-pointer. Off the rim won't go. Martin with the rebound. Here come the Indians. So I'm going to have to get something going, Ellen. This game could get blown out of, out of hand. That's easy. right. Yeah. It don't take long, brother. You're right about that. Look like if all the shots flat, they may be tired of them. Here come the Indians. They need a bucket. Hadn't got one here this half. Braddock thought about it. He'll dribble back out. Reset. Martin with the ball. This gym's filling up fast. So Coach Terrence said the boys will, the girls will play Tuesday and the boys will play Wednesday. Oh, okay. And I think they'll be at six o'clock. Three oh. seconds on the shot clock. That's going to be a violation. Turner will have it. Man, Tuesday ain't going to be a good day for me. I think I got a, a board meeting on Tuesday. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the game unless, unless it's quick. I don't know if we're going to be able to get in there and get out of there, though. Uh, I see that. They started the shot clock, what, about three or four years ago in high school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, is that something you wish y'all to have when you you played? It wasn't. I mean, it's something that all, it should have been long, I mean, a lot of years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, you had teams back in the days that would deliberately just go Throw four corners. Yeah. yeah, you could four win a 12 just, to 10 yeah. game. Especially when they know they're playing a team that's going to put up a bunch of points. Well, this way they can 
kind of even the even the pace of what uh, the pace a little bit or whatever. But yeah. now if you get down, you got a you got a chance to get back because they get, they can't sit there and hold hold it the whole time. I'm they can, with they you. Can only, yeah, it speeds the game up. Yeah. Thirty-one nineteen now. Turner's starting to pull away. The other rule I want them to change. Eric Braddock, another three won't go. Uh, and man, when you're down by 15, 20 points, there's no need to foul under a minute to play. Yeah. yeah. I, that, they need to fix that somehow. I seen that happen. To run 10 seconds off after mm -hmm. every foul. I seen that on Creek by Southern that. Also yeah, we had that. it last night here. And uh, I seen it, I also seen it on, on TV the other night. I mean, it's, yeah, you're it's, getting it's beat 15 yeah. points. There's 31 seconds mm -hmm. left. The game's over. But most, they'll foul and make it last another 10 minutes. Most coaches don't don't allow that to happen, though. I mean, they. That's right. You know, Number four at the line for the Indians. He'll make that one. That makes it 31 to 21 now. Turner with the ball. He'll get it back out to Val. That kid right there, number five, is going to be a ball player, too. What class is he in? Really? I think he's a freshman, AC. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's going to be a great ball player. Trying to just out hustle the man. That's right. Him, yeah. You're right about that. They are putting it on. There's a travel. That'll be a turnover. Ms. Peggy says, hello, Allen and AC. We appreciate you tuning in, darling. Andrew Westbrook says, we appreciate all Creekbox does for the region of doom. Go Titans. We appreciate y'all, man. Cameron Edwards, do you know who Charlton will play if they win? No, I don't know. That'll probably be posted Probably, probably. After tonight's yeah, game, yeah. I mean. Probably tomorrow sometime. Yeah. That's right. Thirty-one twenty-one. The Indians got it to a 10-point lead. Val bringing it down for the Titans. That's a foul. That's going to put number five at the free throw line for Turner, and that is Dalsey. He'll make his first one. Second one up and in. Good job by Dalsey. 33 21 now. Here come the Indians. Long shot won't go. Charlton has the rebound. Another shot, AC, they just can't buy one, can't, man. They can't. Uh -uh. That kind of night. I think everybody on the bench is shot tonight. Mm. Look like you got a whole four, uh, five different players out there. Not what they do. Mm. He's tried everybody the first but the water like, boy. Yeah, the first thing, like, they, they got entire legs or whatever. Charlton's got number four. That's Wilson. Trying to get some of them. Number 22 is Big Pin. 20's in the game. That's Glover. And number 10, that's Crib. Both free throws. He'll miss them both. Here comes the Titans. Tolliver with the ball. Good pass. Gone. Too much on that one, AC. Yeah, a little bit too hard. Yeah. Good idea, though. Two minutes, 54 seconds to play in the game. 33-21. Ellen, I think 
in another 30 minutes, <laughs> probably we're gonna be standing room only. Oh yeah. If Charlton hadn't even scored one point a minute, they got 21 points. Here in about 20 minutes. Crossover, won't go, almost lost it. He'll save it, kicked it back out. There's a block. Looked like he was throwing a block. <laughs> Well, they called that on Turner, AC. I thought yeah, it was he a block, did. it was a blocking foul. <laughs> he hit him pretty hard, but he, he wasn't he wasn't stationed there right now. Another turnover by the Indian. Here comes Turner. Jackson bringing it down. He'll get it over to number eleven, Martin. Dawsey with the ball, trying to get he in, walked. he walked. Yeah, I think he traveled a little bit before he called it right there. 33-21, Charlton on top, 222 to play in the third. Try to dribble through three of them, can't. Number 12 with the ball, he'll slow it down. It was a three on one. Oh, that's backcourt, and he didn't touch the ball, did he, AC? Uh, it was close. It was close, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. We are getting ready for some region championship basketball. I want to remind everybody to mark your calendar. This will be the biggest yard sale in Clinch County this year with closed furniture household items and more. Not to mention barbecue plates, baked sales, and more fun for the kids. If you're interested in donating your spring cleaning items or any items to the yard sale to make it easy, Clinch Memorial Hospital will come pick up the items for you. You don't even have to be at the house, folks. To schedule a pickup, call 912-470-2401. Don't forget to save the date, May the 4th, for Clinch County's biggest yard sale. Man, we should have told Dre to bring some wings. I ain't lying. Look like he got some, I believe, Ellen. You reckon they for us? <laughs> no. He better not bring that one wing. There you go. It better be some wings. Hey, well, you heard me talking about it last <laughs> night, didn't you? There you go. Dog, boy. <laughs> well, they, they, we have to hide these. I'm going to set these over here. Between me and AC, David Lee like a puppy over there sniffing right now. <laughs> There's a layup by number four and a foul. 38-24 now. Turner's starting to pull away. I just told Ellen, you look like you had some wings, wings to bring up here. <laughs> All right. So that's going to put number four, Jackson, on the free throw line for Turner. Turner just flat out playing them. Yeah, they... I don't know. Storm Spotter, 227. Hey, Alan, watching from the Pizza Hut. Everyone come by Pizza Hut after the game. We need to know when it's going to stop raining, brother. <laughs> hey. Is it still raining now? Oh, man, it has rained all night and day. Let's see, Charlton at the free throw line. 38-24, biggest lead tonight for Turner. Charlton just cannot buy one. Rain. <laughs> Finally, they get one. 31 for the Indians. They'll put one in the basket. I don't have that young man's number. 38-25, 1 12 to play in the third. Here come the Titans. Martin has the ball now looking. He'll get it back over to Jackson. Good pass by Jackson. Back door to number 12, and he'll lay it up and in. That was pretty there, AC. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty pass. Pretty play. 40-25. Boy, he close to come back court. 
Good pass for the Indian, finally. He's going to be a big young and That one right there, AC yeah. number 31. Yeah, like I don't about, have his name. I like about 6'3 or 6'4 right now. Forty twenty-seven. Turner on top. Twenty-five seconds to play. And one. That's going to be on number ten. That's Crib. That'll put number eleven Martin at the free throw line with twenty-one seconds left. Basket will count. It's forty-two twenty-seven now. Got it, 43-27. Seems like this third quarter than last before. I am telling you <laughs> what. <laughs> Good move there by number four for the Indians. That's Wilson. The clinch girl, Miss Teresa, will play next. Probably... It's supposed to start at 7, probably more like 7.15, 7.20. They'll take a 15-minute break after this game, darling, and we're fixing to go into the fourth quarter. We'll be back in just a second. I ain't lying. You know I got this white sweater on, too. Do what? Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together, we can build a future we can all believe in. All right, everybody, we're back. Man, Dondre brought some good wings up here, and I was trying to keep them from David. 43-29 here in the fourth. The Indians got to make a run. Now to time. Turner's not letting nothing easy happen. Uh, with his subs, too, Ellen. He still, the starter's not in for charging. I think they're about ready to do away with it, AC. Hmm. 43-29. They're, they're only down 14. Man. That's right. A couple of shots. If they can just get a couple of shots and a couple man. of stops. Yeah. Confidence right now at this mm -hmm. point is what they're lacking. If I'm Turner, I'd milk my shot clock and just open up anything down low. Val with the ball. He'll pull up. Good pass. I thought he was going to take a three, but you got to make it. Man, I don't like that call. Yeah, it's called Jump ball. Too, yeah. I ain't got my guys on. I know. <laughs> and that, that wing was good. I was telling David no, tell him Scott. <laughs> yes. 43-29. Got it. 46-29. AC, that's... She's warming up. She's getting ready to sing here in just a second. Yeah. Mm. I was trying to give them a little hope, Adam. I bet there's not many people left in Pearson, Georgia. Yeah, I, rightfully so. I mean, it's and been a nobody while. uptown. Yeah. I believe that. Tell me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a full house. I mean, kind of the matchup everybody wanted. 
All right, here come the Indians. 29 points. That's got to be a season low for Charlton. They have just played that bad. Martin driving in, won't go, got fouled. You know, last year, AC, we was over there watching Charlton in the final four when they hit that shot. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a great shot they hit to beat that team. I forget who it was. They had three seven-footers on yeah, the team. I who was that, that man? Boy. Oh, I forget. It was the private school. I didn't get a chance to go to that. I think we was Oh, I thought you was there, man. No, actually, we was playing, dish, uh, playing state then. Um, I was at, uh, I think we was in Statesboro somewhere playing state with the rec team last year. And I thought Charlton had lost, and I got a call and said, no, said they hit a shot at the buzzer to beat them, the guy. Oh, that's right. Well, I was glad for Charlton to win that game anyway. I mean, in private school, they kind of get the hell out of their way, man. And <laughs> Turner trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I, I hope with the new gym, I see, we need a little bit more room yeah. on the ends yeah. of this yeah. thing. Are they gonna make that? Yeah. I, to be honest, I don't know because the middle school gym just like that. Man. Oh, just, uh, just, the middle school's worse than yeah, this. Yeah, they don't have no landing area whatsoever. You got one foot beyond yeah. the red paint mm -hmm. at the middle school. At least you got three foot here. But yeah. man, these kids, you have to start slowing down about the three point line mm -hmm. on a layup. Yeah. There's a shot for the Indians. Number four, Wilson or. Lay it up and in, 47-32 now. 15 with the ball, boy almost traveled. Back to Val. Throw it over, shoot it. off the rim, won't go. Lane, good job, he'll keep it for the Indians. We're going to have a 60-second timeout, so we're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my buddy AC Cooper helping me. David Lee running the video camera up top. Super Dave. Yes, sir. Oh God. Oh, it got stuck. Got a well, it, they hadn't missed it yet, and it still won't go in. I see yeah. when they did the end. <laughs> Here comes Turner, four minutes, 50 seconds to play. That's gonna be a foul. On number 10. Tell you what, Ellen, though, if Jordan don't lose them two kids that they, that to Canada and where Canada, I mean. Oh my we'll, Lord. We'll be talking about something different right now. Oh, you'd be talking about a state title. I thought they should have won it last year. That's right. Run. Martin will throw up another one. Missed it that time. He got two. Here come the Titans. Dawsey with the ball. He'll put it up. Won't go. Indians have it. Another steal by Turner. Oh, good move by Bow. That's a good move. 49-32. Back to 17 points. 
Well, I think now they're just trying to run it out, AC. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Dondre them wings are good. <laughs> I got barbecue sauce all over my earlobes up here. <laughs> Ellen said he got barbecue sauce all over his earlobes. <laughs> hey. Oh, Charlton, uh, it was Green Forest last year, yeah, what Cameron yeah. said. Yeah, Indians will lay it up. That's number four. That's Wilson. I mean, that was one of the best games I'd, I've ever seen. Back and forth. Fifty-one thirty-six. Fixing to go under three minutes. Dossie lays it up. Won't go. Indians have it. Martin with the ball. He'll throw it up. Can't make it. I see if you ever been in a slump like that, brother. That's, that's pretty bad, man. I mean, they have not shot the ball well at all. I tried to get me a bunch of layups, some easy shots, though, that I tried to do. <laughs> <laughs> Something to give you a little bit yeah, of confidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and that's it. That they can't get in rhythm, man. And nowadays, everybody want to be able to shoot to be a three-point shooter. You know, I mean, it's good if you can shoot it consistently. But I mean, five, five, four, five, and six-foot shots is a lot easier than them, them long shots. Right? Is Pops watching tonight, AC? I don't know. He hadn't texted me yet. He'll, if, if he is, he'll probably text me in a minute. Well, I guarantee you we're going to have some booms coming up here in the next game. <laughs> it, it's going to be turned up a lot. You can believe that. Yeah, yeah I think the tents are going to be real high this next game. I'm hoping we can get some booms. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, how long has it been since the Lady Rebels have been to a region championship, AC? It's um, been a while, man. I, I don't know, but I... I, I ran across some stuff where they actually made the final four. It might have played in the state championship game. Um, I, I can't remember the year. I, I put it up on YouTube. I, actually, I was just scrolling through YouTube, and I seen they was actually playing in Macon. So I don't know if – I can't remember that year. Yeah. But I don't know if, if that's the last year that they won or not. But they actually was in the final four that year. Well, I know uh, when Miss Relaham was there, they went to several final fours. Yeah. I remember being a young boy here in, in Rellingham back in the day. Yes, sir. Coach Cox and her had a lot of good games. Linda Kay and all them girls. Uh, Coach I mean, I Moreland, I think yeah. Coach Coach uh, Henry Moreland. I mean, that was some great games. You know, last night, Jakari had 23 points. Moore had 12. You know, but, but Jakari had one, two, three, four. Four, five three-pointers. Six, seven. Pearson had nine three pointers last night, AC. They were shooting well. I watched it, I watched it on the phone last night. They shot the ball really well. I think, I think the, key to, the key to the game next next game, we, we got to play to our strengths again. And, and everybody been playing us. They've been packing their zone, um, packing it down, and trying to force it to shoot outside or whatever. And, some of them been successful. I don't know how we end up shaking and lose last night because that's what um, that's what Charlton done to us for like the first three, uh, first two quarters and a half, and somehow we got loose. That's I like, right. I like to see us run a little bit more in, in transition. I mean, and try to get out of transition a little bit more. Because um, their guard play is totally off the chart. They got really, really good guards, and they handle the ball well. They made really good decisions. I mean, they don't turn it over. They don't turn it over a whole bunch. So and that's what you got to have this time of the year. You just turnover is going to be the key to every game. Right now. That's right. You look, you know, and, and you look at both teams. The Rebels are playing some great basketball here at the yeah. end. Looks like the Lady Panthers is struggling a little bit. No, nope, the scoreboard is not working on the screen tonight. It's 56-38. Turner on top with 150 to play in the game. We're trying to keep it up every time they score. They just don't score that much. It's 56 to 38. I'll do a better job, I promise, in the next game, folks. 
Oh, he's got that in his feet. Yeah, that's right. I know how it is not to know that score because I can sit down and watch it sometime and not, not get a chance to see it either. So. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That is aggravating. And don't mess up the scoreboard at the rec park. You bleed no, that. Please don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> It won't take but a Please second, don't. <laughs> a second to get all of that there, brother. You ever been all of that there? AC? Yeah. Start the clock. <laughs> we got 16. Yeah. You got money on that game, don't you? <laughs> like you really care who's going to win. Yeah. You want them all to win. I, want, I wanted to be a tie. That's, That's what I right. wanted to be. Hey, I was famous for a tie, baby. We. Hey, Scott hey, would come over there. We going overtime? No, we oh, going to the Dairy Queen. I get that question all the time. I said, no, everybody go home happy. That's right. That's right. Hey. Indians trying to get it. Turner got it back, lays it up. Still won't go, Coach. Uh, people, it's still 56 to 38 with 120 to play. Next two games will be for the region championship and the number one seed. I sure hope Locklear, number one for Lanier, is able to go tonight for the Bulldogs in the boys game, AC. This is number 21? Number one. Oh, number one, okay. Yeah, Locklear. Okay, okay. I really don't know them, them kids. I mean, I, I guess that we don't, we, I don't know. How. A couple of them I do, but a lot of them I don't. Oh, that'll be a foul. It's still 56-38, folks. Where are you going, Scott? Going back to get him another foot long. <laughs> hey. There's a the shot. That'll move it off 38. It's 56 to 39 now. Turner on top. Uh, 40 to 56. Under a minute to play. Folks, we're going to take a 15, 20 minute break after this one and come back for the girls' championship game. So don't go nowhere. I want to remind everybody, give a shout out to our sponsors. We have Homerville Jewelers, Clint Memorial Hospital Community Paramedicine Program, Dre Snack Shack. I got some of them good wings up here beside me. Clinch Memorial Hospital, Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Clayton Homes of Waycross, Pizza Inn in Waycross, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Camping World of Alasta, Napa Auto in Homerville, Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Walker Jones of Waycross, Burt CPA, Lux Brown Insurance, more farm for your best produce right there in Maynard, Georgia. Huey's One Stop, Douglas Metal, Richard's Meat, Seafood, and Famous Barbecue Sauce, the Averett House, the Little Averett, and the Mary Averett. We appreciate all of them being sponsors for Creek Box. Without them, we wouldn't be allowed to do what we do. So we sure appreciate it. If anybody else would love to become a sponsor, you'll get a hold of me and Daniel. We can hook you up. 10 seconds to play. Turner on top, 56-45. Allen, I just got a, I just got a text saying that it was 2006 the last time that could won the region. 2006. Mm -hmm. Man, that's yeah. been a while. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. Who was coaching them? Was McGowan coaching then? Mm, I'm not sure. Well, if y'all know that, send that in. That's some stuff to talk. That's going to do it. Charlton County will be the number four seed in the boys. Turner County will be a number three seed. We're going to take a break. we got about 3,000 people getting ready to watch us, AC. We're going to take a break, and we're coming back for the girls region 2A championship. We'll be back in just a little bit, folks. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. 
Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you.
Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn and Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're getting ready for the Region 2A Girls Championship between Atkinson County and Clinch County. Lady Rebels, number two, Jakari Northcutt. Number three, Kamari Moore. Number five, Michaela Fulmore. Number 25, Savannah Williams. And number 30, Bernardia McCray. And your starting lineup for the Panther Reds. Number one, Destiny Tarver. Number four, Amaria Dean. Number 10, Jalasia Riley. Number 11, Asia Hood. And number 23, Tyana Dorsey. All right, folks, there's your starting lineup for both teams. The Lady Panthers will be in their white uniforms. The Lady Rebels in their red. 
Atkinson County is coached by Coach J.B. Bergeron and Miss Kendra Vince. Panthers are coached by Chase Daniels, Doreen Johnson, and J.D. O'Quinn. We're getting ready for some basketball. The Panthers have beaten the Rebels twice this year in the regular season. Both of them close. They see this is going to be a good game. You got the three-headed monster from Atkinson County, Jakari, Moore, and Williams. They can shoot your eyes out now. Yeah, this should be pretty interesting, Alan. I mean, it's a tale of two different teams. You got to tell. I mean, I think we. I don't need them all now, Don Dre. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we got the advantage on the inside and they, they got the advantage on the perimeter. We see who, whoever can, can control their own faith and not, right here probably going to be in a good position to win. Um, I just think we just got to... What gotta are we doing now? I see they've called them back off the court. Is there a problem? Is there a wet spot? The, both teams were lined up ready to jump the ball and... Uh, They've made both teams go back to the bench for some reason. I don't know if they had a bracelet on or hearing. Uh, one of the head referees is talking to Coach Chase. Coach JB said, man, well, I'm just ready to play some basketball. I got to give him a shout out. His wife and family is in Baton Rouge. <laughs> man, he told me to give them a shout out. They were watching last night. We appreciate it. Here we go, something they see we're gonna be a delay. So we're gonna to have to go back to the locker room, I guess, what, maybe change uniforms, they see? It's gotta be something, it's gotta be something to do with equipment. Oh, well folks, man, I now that could, will that lead to a technical foul, I see, because if you start the game, I've never seen that happen before. I, I, I had not either. I know that if you don't start, once you write, turn your book in with your starters. That's the numbers that they got to keep. That's the numbers they've got to be. So if they change any of the numbers coming now, no, we'll stay right here. We good. We talking. We all right. Uh, so we, we just don't know. I want to remind everybody about the Georgia Heart program that's going on at the Clinch Memorial Hospital. Did you know that instead of paying your Georgia taxes yeah, back to the state where you don't know how they'll be spent, you can designate your state taxes back to Clinch Memorial Hospital. This gives you control over where your tax dollars are spent. And who would want them to come back locally to our own community? The process is simple. Once you estimate how much you owe in state income taxes, you can complete the form online. It takes less than two minutes to complete. When you're ready, you can make your payment to Clinch Memorial Hospital within six months. And once you're done, your taxes are paid. You will have supported and purchased new equipment, increased service lines, and improved the quality of health care for Clinch County. For more information, just call Lily Blitch at 912-470-2401. Well, I reckon, David, you're right. We will take a commercial break, find out what's going on, and we'll be back in just a second. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Aver House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Aver House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. 
Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants. 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages. Clayton Homes of Waycross. Everybody, welcome back. The Panthers had to go change uniforms for some reason. They will be in their black uniforms, not their white uniforms. I've never seen that before, AC. I haven't either, have you? <laughs> We'll find out at halftime what the problem was. I don't know if with Pearson being red and white. And Pat, I mean, brother, at the rec park, we got to play in red jerseys, both teams. So. <laughs> it's hard, but you can do it. Coach Chase, surely they don't. They got to go back in and change again. Oh, no. Coach JB saying, come on, man. Coach JB saying, let's get the game on. So it's nothing to do. With Atkinson County's coach, it's got something to do with the officials, AC. Well, the home, I thought the home team wears the, the light. The white, that's the right. Light, that's the what they're dress, saying yeah. now. Yeah. They're saying you've got to wear a white uniform. Yeah. I oh, hope wow. we have a different white uniform. Yeah. <laughs> we might have to run down to the Lazy Daisy. I, the home team has to wear well, white. Well, I, got, I got some stuff at the park. We yeah. Can, we can throw them on. It's got <laughs> Panthers on it, so, I mean, we need to do that. I, I'll take a second or two to go off and get them real quick. Stay <laughs> here. We good. We good. You guys unplugged my stuff. Oh, man. I didn't hit. I'm so Where at? Where are we at? I don't know how. Is this it? Where's the plug-in go, brother? And I'll plug it in. All right. Well, AC, you're right. They're going to have to wear their white uniforms. Uh, maybe they got a different AC finishing up a chicken wings. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's man. gonna get loud when the Panthers come back out. It's more like a beauty contest right now, AC. I guess we might we might get some midnight basketball. We, we, we've seen the gowns now, the <laughs> swimwear. I don't know. I reckon it's gonna be the talent show next. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Miss Jill said, thanks for the shout out. This is Coach B's wife again, Go Rebels. We appreciate you tuning in, darling. Hope y'all having a safe time out there in Louisiana. Coach JB's like Chase, he's just ready to play basketball. <laughs> I know you done waited all this long time. Man, it's a packed house, AC, and we still got two hours for the boys play. Yep. Uh, nobody's left, you can believe that. So we're getting... The what? I got you, I got you. Coach McGowan's telling AC what the problem is. What did he say, AC? The, under, the undershirt cannot be the same color as the shirt. It has, oh, if you got a red okay. jersey, it's got to be, can't be a red undershirt. It has to be a different color. I got you. And they come out in all black. So they got to find a red T-shirt. I guess they could still wear the black jerseys as long as the T-shirt's different color under the jersey. Yeah, I don't, I don't wear the T-shirt. That's right. That's right. Well, here well, they come back in some more white uniforms. Let's see what's going to happen now. I don't. Well, that, that according to what Carl just told me, I mean, I don't know. Well, that's right. They still got a white T-shirt on. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're gonna find out. Dorsey doesn't have one on. She's yeah. tired of taking them on and off. All right. Now, wait. Let's see. 
we might be changing again. The referee's over No, it, it just making sure, Brent making sure the numbers are, are correct. Making oh, sure I they got, got you. So we, um, we don't run into trouble down the line. Oh, man. Well, we're going to get it underway now, folks. Here we go. They'll jump. Dorsey will win the jump. Here come the Panthers. Talbert with the ball. The Rebels will drop back. They get it over to Cupcake. Down to Dean in the paint. Asia will save it back out to Talbert. Talbert will pull up. 12-footer won't go. Dorsey with the rebound. Get it back to Talbert. Down to Dean. Turn around jumper. Got it. Good shot by Dean. Two to nothing. Panthers on top. All right, here comes Moore. She's the quarterback for the Rebels. Got it to Jakari. They save it. That's going to go back court, AC. Yeah, back court, yep. So the Panthers will have it right back, leading two to nothing. I want to remind everybody just, I'm going to try. Eric Richardson said, let's go, Lady Panthers. What's up, big guy? What's up, coach? <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, Dorsey with the ball. Two to nothing, Panthers lead. She'll shoot it. Got it. If we can do that, AC, it's going to be a good one. Four to nothing, Panthers on top. Yeah, that's a good start, man. I mean, we needed a good start. I told you we didn't need to start. We didn't need to start. Look so, out, so. AC. Boom, there it is. Williams with a three. Well, she, can, she can shoot it, Allen. You, you got you to get back. Oh, and there's a steal by number three. Lays it up and in. Moore with the basket. Five to four, Rebels on top. They putting some pressure on the Panthers, they see. Tauber to get it to Cupcake, they get across. There's another steal, almost. Fullmore had it, kicked it out of bounds. Panthers are keeping. Five to four, Atkinson County on top of Clinch County. Asia with the ball down to Dorsey. Dorsey trying to dribble. There's a steal, here comes Moore for the Rebels, lays it up and in. Seven to four, Atkinson County on top. They get it to Talbert, Talbert trying to dribble through. She'll get around one, all the way to the basket, got it to Cupcake, basket. Seven to six now, Rebels still on top. Hey, see, there's already more points scored here in the first than there was the first half of the boys' game. <laughs> yeah, Again, high, high tempo. They making the shots, man. I mean, I think, I think it's going to be like this the whole game, Melon, to be honest. I do like the Rebels' uniforms. That red with the black T-shirts do look good now. <laughs> hey, Dorsey with the steal. Panthers saying, we just want to play. We don't care what color uniforms we got. Talbert bringing them down. Gonna slow it down now, seven to six. Rebels on top. Talbert will miss it, and that'll go back court. Oh, AC, we can't do that. Atkinson will have the possession. They got the lead. Let's see if it flipped the rules right there. We can't do that. We can't do it, man. Good. Mm. Brother, we are sitting right in amongst a bunch of Rebel fans. I think, AC, we're sitting with them. <laughs> hey. We're going to have to stand up a lot tonight if they start hitting threes. <laughs> Rebels will have the ball. Seven to six, Atkinson County on top. They'll bring it in. They get it to number five. That's Fullmore. All the way, look out. Williams with another. Off the rim, won't go. Dean with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Seven to six, Atkinson on top. Talbert with the ball, over to Cupcake. Back across, there's a steal by Fulmore. She'll take it all the way, it won't go. Rebound up there, that's gonna be a foul on Dean. That'll be Dean's first foul. Mm. That's something we can't have foul trouble tonight either, AC. Yeah. 
First free throw on the way. We got to take go. care of the ball. We got to take out the ball. That's I mean, I, like, like we talked about earlier. Turnover battle is going to be important. Well, be usually, if you win the turnover battle, you're going to score points. Jakari will make one of the free throws. It's eight to six now. Dean with the ball. Oh, I thought she should have took it all the way to the basket then, AC. Knocked out of bounds. Panthers will keep it. That was going to be a hard pass to get through right there. Yeah. Cupcake will bring it in for the Panthers. Long pass into Dorsey. Dorsey back over to Talbert. Talbert will come back to the top. Over to Cupcake, down to Dorsey. Dorsey looking, picked her dribble up. She needs some help. Back to Talbert. There's a three. No good. It didn't hit the rim. Shot clock still going. Rebels got it. Moore will bring it down. She's the quarterback, AC. She oh, yeah. does a good job. Oh, yeah. Good decision, yeah. Oh, good pass. Great job by Dean. Rebels still got it. Number 30, that was McCray with the basket. 10 to 6 now. Asia saves it. Rebels got a press on. Cupcake has it now. They get across half court. All the way over to Talbert. 10 to 6. Rebels on top. Cupcake looking. Back to Talbert. Over to Asia. Asia. Looking around. We got to look inside, man. <laughs> Talbert looking. There's Dorsey. Dorsey's going to try to dribble. She traveled, AC. Richard and Pam girls say go, Lady Panthers. We appreciate y'all tuning in, darling. Ellen, we got to look inside, man. I'm telling you, it's them. They're just not finding them. We got to look inside. It's got, it's got to be quick, though. I mean, Dean, she's floating around. We got to get the ball to her. Miss Johnson mad at the referees for making the Panthers change many times. <laughs> Look out! Is that one? Did it count, No, it was, on the, it was on the floor. Foul on the floor, yeah. On 13, that's Stevens. That'll be her first. first yeah. 10 to 6. Rebels on top of the Panthers. They get it in. Look out. Number two, Jakari. That's money in the bank, AC. Yes, she, she gonna, if you let her shoot that, she's going to hit it all night long. Biggest lead of the night, 12 night to 6. Hey. Asia. Look out. There's a good pass. Dean lays it up and in. That's what we need. We got, I mean, we got to look for her, man. I mean, we, we got to. 12 to 8. Three minutes to play in the first. Standing room only. Look out. That, Boy, that, that was close, that was AC. Court. That was back. Moore, court. good pass down low. Couldn't get it. Stevens with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. 12 to 8. Atkinson on top. Mm -hmm. Talbert across. Looking. Everybody's packed down low, AC. There's oh. one thrown away. She was trying to get it to Asia. Good timeout, Coach. Good timeout. We, uh, oh, it went in and come out. Dean with the rebound.
All right, everybody, we're back. The internet crashed. We were trying to get the sound back up. Pearson leading 21 17, 4 34 to play in the second quarter, AC. Yeah, I mean, we, we've been scrambling around, man. I mean, we just, we finally, I'm hoping we're about to settle, settle in right now. We're having trouble with this press. Cupcake. The Dorsey back to Adrian. She traveled. That'll be another Panther turnover. Folks, I hope we back up now. Apologize. Court. Ain't nothing you can do sometimes with technology. Williams, look out, AC. Overshot that one. Asia with the rebound. Here come the Panthers now. Talbert back out to Dean. Dean driving in, won't go. Rebels with the rebound. Get back, get back. All right, here comes Jakari. Knocked out of bounds. Rebels will keep it. We had so many people watching. All right, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. All right, folks, we're past. Here we come. Talbert trying to lay it up. That'll be a foul. Man. I've lost the foul sheet and the points trying to get the internet back up, folks. I think we got it now. Talbert will make one. Well, it, it should be coming on now. They're running a little bit behind, but it should be. Daniel's watching. I think we're good now. Y'all let us know. Second one, Talbert got it. 21-8, 21-19 now. Panthers cut it to a two-point lead. Here come the Rebels. Moore bringing it down. Dribbling around, good move by Moore. Good and go. Dorsey with the rebound. Panthers can tie or take the lead, AC. 3.30 to play in the first half. Asia with the ball, they get it to Dorsey. Back down to Dean. Go. We got to make that one. 5 4. Dean got it back, missed it. Strike three, no good. That'll be a foul. That's going to be on number five. That is full more. I don't know how many she's got. That's her first one to me. We can't, darling. It's broken. We try to display the scoreboard. It's broken. We'll get it fixed just as quick as we can. It's 21-19. Rebels on top. In and out. Panthers will miss them both. They save it, Panthers got it. Dorsey a shot, it won't go. Here come the Rebels. Jakai up and in. Jakai with another basket, 23 to 19. Talbert bringing it down. 
Got it over to Magby. Magby to Dean. Dean off the backboard. Got it. 23-21. Rebels still out front. Appreciate that, Brent. <laughs> Hey, there's a backdoor pass. They see Williams. Or, or that's, uh, yeah, McCray will put it in. That was pretty there, AC. Yeah, it was. I didn't see where she walked there, but I mean, I guess he said something we didn't. I don't know. Oh, it didn't count. Oh, no, it didn't, I got no, it you. Okay. Count. No, they called me. All, right, all right. They called him walking. Asia with the shot. Off the back of the rim. Dean with the rebound. Back up. Got it. The door seat. Got it. That looked good, AC. Yeah, yeah. 23-23, folks. We got to hit our inside shots, though, really. Ain't no doubt about that. That's that's our that's our strong point. We got to hit them. That's right. Oh. You can't miss them. You cannot. You cannot. All right, Panthers can take their first lead right here, AC. Hadn't led the whole game. Whole game. Yeah, we trailed the whole game. Two minutes to play in the first half. Dorsey with another shot. Boom! Got it! Panthers in front for the first mm -hmm. time, 25-23. Boy, that's close there, AC. Jakari with the ball. Good pass again, AC. That's good, that's good ball movement. That's what they do. I mean, good decisions, man. McCray Indeed. with the basket. Hey, get it. 25-25. We're all tied up. Dean with the ball. Back to Dorsey. She'll dribble. Throws it up. Short. Asia with the rebound. We're going to have a foul. Great game, folks. 117 to play. I wouldn't be surprised they don't call this a jump ball. Yeah. Are they talking about it? No, he caught a foul. Oh, okay. They've been calling jump ball so quick. 25-25, 117 to play here in the first half. Asia shot will miss. Number five, that's Fulmore coming back in the game along with number 15. That's Fowler. Asia's second shot on the way. Can't get it. Dorsey's got it, saved it. Oh, oh she traveled. 25, 25, 114 to play in the half. I didn't see that, Alan. I don't, I don't see how he, how he could have called the travel on that one. I, don't, I didn't see that. <laughs> Here comes Moore, bringing it down for the Lady Rebels. She'll dribble through one, almost got it. Coach Chase wanted to travel there. They got it back to her. Boom! They see another three. Moore with the basket. 28-25. Rebels on top. Magby will take one. Boom! Got it. That's two for Magby tonight. We're all tied up again. 28-28. 35 seconds. Clock running. Moore with the ball. She'll get it to the car, back to Moore, another three, off the back of the rim. Dorsey with the rebound, out to Dean. Plenty of time, Dean will lay it up and one. That's gonna be on Williams. 30-28, Panthers on top. Trying to make a three-point play. Boy, we need every point you can get and got it. Good job by Dean. 31, 28, 15 seconds. Clock running. More. She, oh, she thought about it. Look out. William back to Jakari. Off the rim won't go. Asia has it. Two seconds. One second. That's going to do it. Oh. Well, folks, once again, we apologize. For the outage, just a second. We got it back up. Panthers lead 31-28. Me and AC are going to take a break. We'll be back.
Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Be merry this holiday season at the Merry Agret, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday-themed gifts. The Merry Agret has everything you need to make every day a holiday. And then a Lonky Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at WalkerJonesChevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912 912- CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll.
the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. We look forward to seeing you. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy A.C. Cooper and David Lee running the camera up top. AC still chomping on them wings, man. We had a 24 count. I bet we down to two now. It ain't very many left, man. <laughs> AC, what's the adjustments at the halftime if you're the coach for the Panthers? Man, I'm, I'm just going to tell my girls is we got to ease off on, on, on the turnovers and, and we got to look quick inside. I mean, it's open. I mean, they cannot stop us on the inside. I mean, just like they give us problems on the perimeter when they got the ball, we give them problems. In, in the, on the inside, you know what I mean? We got to take advantage. We got to be who we are. How do we adjust and stop them with the back door down low like that when we come out? Are we just scared of the three-pointers and coming out to protect that and that leaves that open? Is that what's causing? Well, actually, anytime you get penetration within that painted area, I mean, that's going to happen. You know, you got to you got to try to cut it off and hope that you can get some backside help on, on that play. But, I mean, if the backside help ain't there in time enough, you're going to get layups like That's that That's really day. the only inside play that yep. Atkinson County has. Yep, and they and they, they, and they, and work it to they the are working it, bro. They mm -hmm. are roofing the house. It's 31-28, mm -hmm. Panthers on top. We're getting ready for the second half. We had drama to start the game uh, with the uniform, but the Panthers changed, what, three times, they see. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was a good <laughs> minute. <laughs> They finally found something they can wear. Yeah, they finally found something that would fit. <laughs> so we're back. Rebels are in red uniform. Panthers in white. They've been white, black, and back to white. <laughs> so here we go. We're starting the second half. 31-28. We apologize for the internet drop, but we back up and running and hope to stay that way. Rebels with the ball. Moore with it. She'll kick it over to Jakari. Jakari will pull up, 15-footer, got it! Good shot there, she don't, she don't hesitate with that one. Here come the Panthers, Magby back to Dorsey, she'll miss it. 31-30, Panthers lead, here come the Rebels. That's a good play, man, we got the finish right there though, That's a good set up. Moore with the ball, back to Williams, over to Moore to Williams. Jakari, she'll pull up, 10-footer, got it! She's hot now, AC. Yep. 
Rebels on top, 32-31. Here come the Panthers out to Magby. Magby driving in, throws it up. We're gonna have a foul. On number 30, that's McCray. That's the first one for me, but when we dropped, I was trying to get the internet back up with on the phone with Daniel. I don't know who we missed. Good shot by Magby. Magby with two three-pointers in the first half. We're all tied up again, 32-32. Second free throw on the way, off the side. McCray with the rebound, here come the Rebels. Oh, there's been knocked out of bounds. Rebels will keep it. Miss Johnson says, come on, Panthers. Y'all can do this. Miss Peggy, no rebounds on the second shot. Defense and play like you want it. That's going to be a turnover by the Rebels. 32-32, 6.58 to play in the third. Talbert, long pass out to Magby. Good pass to Dorsey. She'll dribble. <laughs> oh, He's losing it out of bounds. Here come the Rebels. All right, here we go. 32-32. Oh. Moore bringing it down for the Rebels. Moore will split them, drives in, no foul. Talbert with the ball, here come the Panthers. 32-32, we're all tied up. Talbert looking out to Magby, back to Talbert. Got it to Dorsey, Dorsey back to Magby. Magby will drive in off the backboard, won't go. Dean had it. Panthers are losing it out of bounds. Dollar Bill says, let's go Panthers. Here come the Rebels, 32-32. Both of them cooling off a little bit now, AC. Moore with the ball for the Rebels. She'll drive in, back out, got it to Jakari. Back to Williams. Williams, 12-footer, won't go. McCray with the rebound, back up, won't go. Dean's got it now. 32-32, Panthers trying to take the lead back. Talbert with the ball. And we gotta find Dean, man. We gotta find Dean in that middle, man. Got There's you. Stevens with a three off the back of the rim. Both teams stuck at 32 points. Moore driving in, lays it up, won't go. Talbert has it, push it. She's gonna drive it all the way. Lays it up, can't go. Dean with the rebound, Panthers will miss. We had two chances there, AC, to get a basket. 5.08 to play in the third. Coach Chase wants a timeout. We'll take a quick one. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. All right, everybody, we're back. Here come the Rebels. We're all tied up, 32-32. Jakari with the ball. Over to Williams. Back to Jakari. Fullmore. Back to Williams. Panthers doing a good job. Defense protecting that outside shot. Look out. I said that too early, AC. Good. Magby with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Dean drives in and got the basket. Panthers in front, 34-32. 
How packed is it? There's nowhere to stand. <laughs> Panthers have it. Turnover to get it out to Magby. Slow it down. Got it. Good shot by the Panthers. 36-32. Rebels want a timeout. We'll take a 60-second timeout. We'll be back. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 470-2359 to learn more. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch and then a Lockheed Walker Jones. At Walker Jones. All right, everybody, we're back. Here come the Rebels. 36 32, Panthers on top. Rebels have it. Jakari got it inside. Back to Jakari. Stevens trying to get the steal. Good job. White ball. Who's got it? White ball. No, they're going to. All right, Panthers have it. 36 32. What's, what are they doing, AC? Well, uh, they, she took it in, and uh, I think three, um, five, more five right there. Um, and the ball just then, um, it was still, evidently was tipped off of, uh, off of one of Atco players' hands. I got you. Ah, oh, good pass. Stevens drives in. Got it. Good job by Stevens. 38-32. Biggest lead of the night for the Panthers. Jakari puts it up and in for the Rebels. It's hard to stop Jakari, bro. I'm Man, well, she's the only one that yeah. scored here in the third. She's got yeah. six in the third. Yes, Asia with the shot. Oh, Stevens tried to save it. She was out of bounds. 38-34. Stevens will go out. Magby back in for the Panthers. Moore bringing it down for the Rebels. She'll drive around, looking wide open. She'll pull up off the back of the rim. Dean with the rebound. That's one advantage the Panthers have, AC. Yeah, man, she, she different, man. We just, we just got to find ways to get her more involved, man. I'm telling you. There's, I mean, there's no answer for her. We got over 4,500 people watching right now, AC. 4,500. Wow. <laughs> Here comes Jakari on this end, lays it up. Oh, she usually doesn't yes, miss that. I'm telling you, that was a good move. 30, oh, and the Panthers give it away. Back to Moore. Didn't go, Jakari with the rebound. 38-34, Panthers lead. Jakari will throw it up. Oh, it come off the rim and went <laughs> over the backboard. 38-34. Here comes Talbert, gonna bring it in. She needs some help. Magby with the ball. Oh, and there's a steal. Moore has it, puts it up and in. 38-36 now. The pressure getting to the Panthers. Dean throws it away. Another turnover. That's four AC in a row. They, they just... Uh. Rebels have it. They trail by two. Panthers had built the biggest lead of the night for them. 38-36. Four turnovers back to back, Adam. I mean, that ain't winning. I mean, we, we got to take care of the ball, man. Jakari with the ball, dribbling around, looking. Back over to Williams. 
Panthers almost got a steal. Williams will save it. Got it down low to Fullmore. She'll miss it. Dorsey with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Rebels will drop back. They won't press. Over to Magby. Magby got it to Dean. She was wide open, up and in. That's, that's what we got to look for more right there. I mean, win, she held her hands up. She'd been open for a while, 40 to 36. Win, lose, or draw, Ellen. That's our bread and butter right there, I'm telling you. There's no answer for Dean. Moore with the ball, trying to get it to full Moore. Couldn't hold it, went out of bounds. Here we go, Magby will bring it in. Got to have some help. Stevens with the ball back to Magby, back to Stevens. Stevens will get it across half court. Good Got job, it to talk. good job, that's a good job. Yeah. 115. Move it, that's you. Dean again, backs up off the backboard, won't go. Dorsey with the rebound. Overshot it, Dean trying to get it again. Got it, won't go, that's three shots. 40-36, Panthers on top, under a minute now, here in the third. Oh, Jakari saved, oh, Magby, oh, that's <laughs> gonna be three. Wow. She'll get to shoot three now. Wow. <laughs> Man. Forty thirty-six. We uh, it got it. Rolled around the world, but it went in. 40-37 now. Second one. Got that one. This is where Pearson's got the advantage at the free throw line, AC. Yeah, they shoot, they shoot really well. At the they do. Line. Cupcake back in the game for the Panthers. Asia in there. 40-38. Williams, her third one on the way. Got them all three. One point game, 40 to 39. Oh, Dean saved it. Here come the Panthers. Hey, look, looking, looking. Got it across to Asia. Asia will pull up inside the paint. Won't go. That'll be a foul. <laughs> that's going to be on number 30. That's McCray. That I got her as two fouls. Asia at the free throw line. <laughs> Off the back of the rim. Boy, you need every point. Yeah. Thank you. 40 seconds to play here in the third. Second free throw on the way. Short, Rebels with the rebound. Jakari has it. She picked her dribble up, needs help. She got it off. Moore with the ball for the Rebels. Got it to Williams. Williams down low. Fullmore couldn't hold it. Shot clock is off. 28 seconds to play in the third. That was a good look, man. Adam. It was. Panthers lead 40 to 39. Clock running now. Got it out to Asia. Asia dribbling to the basket, lays it up, won't go. We got a foul. Let's see who this one on. I think it's going to be on Asia. It is. Hey, that same play been a jump ball all night. That every game I, I see. I know it. I know it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Here we go. Rebels going to roll it in. 15 seconds left in the third. Clock running 40 39. Panthers lead. Yeah. Jakari with the ball. Back to Williams. Back to Jakari. Three seconds. Jakari throws it up. Off the rim won't go. Talbert has it and that'll do it. So after three quarters, folks, Panthers lead 40-39. We'll take a break and we'll be back in just a second. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. 
At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand for. All right, we're back here live on Creek Box. Eight minutes to play for the Region 2A Championship game here for the girls. There's a steal by the Rebels. Jakari lays it up and won. That's going to be on Asia. That'll be her second, I think. Rebels back on top, 41-40. Jakari can make it a three-point play here for the Rebels. It's been back in two all night, AC. Great game. Got them. They don't miss at the free throw line. 42-40, Rebels lead. Almost with another steal. Talbert down to Dell. Dorsey lost it. No, she got it back. Got it out to Dean. Dean will throw up a three. Off the backboard, wrapped around the rim, won't go. Here come the Rebels. Lays it up and in, Jakari with another basket. 44-40 now, Rebels lead. Panthers got it, there's a steal. Jakari again, got it. AC, she's on fire. Yes, she's on fire, yep. Yep. 46-40, Coach Chase said, I've seen enough. We're going to stay right here. What happened? We're going to stay here. No, no commercial. We got a, play, uh, a player hurt. Uh, William looked like. What Man. Happened? She went down. We got a player down. What number is it, AC? 25. I think it's William. That is. That's Williams, number 25 I just, I down. Didn't see what, I didn't see what happened. They're rubbing her calf. Maybe it's just a cramp, AC. Maybe so, hopefully. hopefully. I want to remind everybody there's a patient healing guarding for outpatient, outpatient and physical therapy brick paver cell that's going on for the Clinton Memorial Hospital. They are in the process of designing and building a patient healing guarding that will allow the occupational and physical therapy and swing bed patients to rehabilitate outdoors. You can support these efforts of expanding the occupational and physical therapy services provided by Clinton Memorial Hospital by purchasing a brick paper in the garden. That's right, you can have your name or you may purchase a brick in honor or in a memory of a loved one to be permanently placed at Clinton Memorial Hospital. I know me and Daniel's done this for our captain, Mr. Barry and Sutton, and we're gonna do it for the Creek Box. And also it supports our local hospital for the physical therapy and outpatient and swing bed program. It's a great program to have. Coach JB out there coaching up the girls. Coach Chase down there coaching up the girls. AC, what do you think? Man, we better make a move right now. I mean, the momentum has, has, has turned, and I mean, and, and Jakari is on fire. So we, we, gotta, we gotta get, this possession is a big possession for us, I think. That's right. 46-40. Here come the Panthers. Dean with the ball. She'll get it across half, half court. It wasn't, bad, it, it, wasn't bad, it wasn't a bad pass. I mean, she didn't get a good start on it. I mean, she led her pretty good. 46-40. Rebels trying to add to it. 6.50 to play in the game. Jakari, that's who you don't want to have it right now. She's going to drive in. Got it to Moore. Back to McCray. Magby will steal it. Here come the Panthers. They'll get it to Talbert. Talbert back to Dorsey. Asia with the ball. Back to Talbert. Back to Magby. will throw up a three. Won't go. Dean fighting for it. Lost it out of bounds. Here come the Rebels. Oh, 
Panthers had her trap. Dean will steal it. Oh, could she, did she save it? Oh, I thought she bounced it off the girl. She didn't. They're going to call a foul on Dean. Mm. She tried to save it, AC. That was a good hustle, yeah. Good, good hustle. hustle. I think, is that three on Dean now? Um, it's two or three. 46-40, 6 5 to play in the game. Moore with the ball for the Rebels. Jakari, she'll throw up one. Got it, nothing but net. We got a foul, let's see, did that count, AC? Uh, Coach JB said the good, basket yeah. counted. Push yeah. on number who? It's on five, number five, I think. Against the Rebels? Yeah. yeah so it happened after it, it the happened, shot. Yeah, uh-huh. You said the, the point counted, bro. Get out there, cross it, post up. So the Panthers will shoot two now? No, they aren't. No, they just get the ball. 48-40 uh -uh. then, Rebels. The basket counted. There's a foul there. Let's see who this one's on. Number four, that's Bolden. That'll be her first. Panthers will keep the possession. 48-40 now. Panthers need a basket, and they need one now, AC. Yeah, we need, we need a basket now. Asia with the ball, back to Talbert. Talbert up, drives in, throws it up, won't go. Got it back, though. Good hustle by Talbert. Got it to Dorsey. Dorsey back to Talbert. Talbert trying to drive in there, throws it up, won't go. Asia with the ball, puts it up and in. Big basket for the Panthers. 48-42, cuts it to a two-possession game. Good shot there, won't go. That was number four. That was Bolton with the shot. Here come the Panthers. Magby with the ball. Back to Dorsey. Dorsey will shoot. Off the edge of the rim, won't go. Rebels have it. Here comes Moore. 48-42. Dorsey will have a foul. Uh, I don't think he caught a foul. It wasn't a foul? No, uh, no, he didn't caught a foul. So it'll just be the Rebels' ball. Yeah. 5.07 to play, folks. Kayla Lanier says, slow the ball down and take control back. There's still plenty of time to regain the lead. 48-42, that's a foul on Magby, number three. Rebels keep the ball. They're getting too many opportunities, they see. Yeah. You can't give a team that as good as they are an opportunity to shoot over and over and Man, over. We, we got we got to find some kind of way to get Dorsey that get Dorsey a, 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 a Dean that ball in that middle in the well, ball. In ball the bound to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's another man. Almost another steal. Good hustle there, number five. That's Fullmore. 48-42. Rebels on top. Four minutes, 41 seconds to play. I need a basket right here. I think, I think a basket right here. To... Cupcake with the ball, trying to get it over. Got it to Talbert. Back to Asia. Dorsey has it. Cupcake has it. She'll throw it up. Won't go. Dean with the rebound. Got it. 48-44. Cupcake will have a foul. My, oh, my. Coach Chase wants a timeout. No, I don't think he does. No timeout. Rebels have the ball and the lead by four. Asia, let's see, it went out of bounds. Yeah. Who has it? Oh, boy, the fans don't like that, AC. He hit up their leg. That's right. Yeah. The, uh, the fans thought it did anyway. Williams with the ball. Got it to Jakar. You better cover up. Good pass to Fullmore. Can't get it. Here come the Panthers. Talbert. Ms. Johnson says you got to want it to win it. Well, we're fixing to find out if the Panthers want it, darling. 
<laughs> they got Dean covered up. Dorsey will throw up one-handed. They'll get a foul. These are big free throws here. Huge free throws. You got to have them. You got to have these free throws here. She's a pretty good free throw shooter, though. Got the first one. Good job by Dorsey. That's her first basket in the second half, AC. Mm. She gave up several opportunities. I mean, we need her. When she get it down there, we need her to shoot the ball. What Got is, the second one. Whether she make it or not, she need to take them That's shot. right. Two-point game, folks. 48-46. Rebels lead. Good pass to Fulmore and one. Cupcake with the foul. Number 10. Rebels back up on top. 50 to 46 now. Won't go, Dean with the rebound. 50-46, Panthers trail by, that'll be a foul on number five, Fullmore, that'll be her third, I think. Panthers have it. Over to Asia, Asia looking, Dean was wanting it, had her hand up. Talbert will throw up a three off the backboard. Won't go. Dean snatches it out of the sky. Got it again. Off the backboard. Up and in. Dean trying to take it over for the Panthers. 50-48 now. Rebels on top. They're going to have a foul, man. Lord. That is on Dean. Mm, that's going to be foul number four, AC. Good gracious. 3.07 to play. That's going to mm. put automatic at the free throw line. More, she doesn't miss either. She did. We talked out of that one. Trying to make it a three point lead for the Rebels. Got it. 51 48. Oh, my. What happened, AC? She stepped on the line. He just stepped, stepped, on, the stepped line, on the line, and yeah. it'll be a turnover. Look out, Jakari with a three, won't go. Cupcake with the ball. <laughs> She'll get it to Talbert. <laughs> Talbert to Asia. Asia drives in, lays it up, got her own rebound, tried to. Oh, here come the Rebel. Moore lays it up. Got it. 53-48 now. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back in just a second. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. This is Alan Hanley and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre. At all right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my buddy A.C. Cooper here, the Homerville Clinton County Recreation Director. What did and David Lee what did up there running the camera. Here come the Panthers. They need it. Oh, Dean will lose it. Moore lays it up, won't go. Dean got the rebound. Dean with four fouls, you've got to be careful. But it doesn't matter now, we're under three minutes. Another turnover by the Panthers. 53-48. Rebels up by five, Williams with the ball, cupcake on her, she'll throw it out of bounds. Panthers get it back. You got to have points now, I see. Yeah, we got to we got to find somewhere. To got get to get it now on this possession. They're not going to let Mag be in. Asia with the ball back to Tauber.
We got 5,400 people watching tonight, AC. You know that, brother? 5,400 people watching Creek Bop. Alan Clanton said the clinch girls are rattled. You're right, it is a really good game. Dean Dorsey at the free throw line, you got to have him. Good shot by Dorsey. 53-49. One more free throw, it'll cut it to a one possession game. 203 to play. Second one won't go. Dean with the rebound. Trying to get it up. No foul. Got it again. Got it. Dean with the basket. 53-51, Panthers jump in a press. Here comes Jakari. Rebels on top, good pass. Dorsey got a piece of it. Rebound. Panthers can tie it up on this possession. Coach Chase tell him to slow it down. 1.38 to play in the game. Dorsey with the ball. Go to the goal, she'll pull up. Got it. Got it. We're all tied up, 53-53. Moore with the ball. Good backdoor pass to Williams and got it. 55-53. Rebels lead. Asia with the ball. Oh, Magby was wide open for a second. Dean back to Talbert. Got it back to Dean. She'll shoot. Won't go. Rebels have it. Talbert saved it. She'll drive in. Got it. And one, and one. First basket of the night for Talbot. 55-55, 58 seconds to play. Panthers trying to take the lead back. Man. They claw it in, AC, they they're trying to Man, get it. Man, look at him, I tell you. <laughs> Dean out of breath. Dorsey with a rebound, put it up. Got it, got it. 57-55. 52 seconds. Well, we got a timeout, AC. What happened? Oh, Magby called a foul. 52 seconds. That's going to put more at the free throw line. Mm. First shot on the way for more. She missed it. Asia back in the game. Second free throw on the way for more. 57-55, Panthers lead. She missed them both. Panthers got it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Tobert can't jump ball. Surely it's going to be a jump ball or timeout. What happened? Who's got the possession? It'll be back to the Rebels, they see. 47 seconds to play, folks. Coach JB said, give me a timeout to talk about it. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a second. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy A.C. Cooper. A.C., 47 seconds, Rebels with the ball. What a game, Alan, what a game. I, I felt it'll be this way. I mean, it's been everything and more. Well, the Panthers should get one more possession because the shot, oh, out of bounds, they got it. Panthers got it, it went off Moore's leg. Mm. What do you do, A.C., you, do you let them foul you? Well, they, I mean, they still gonna get the ball back. It'll be it's a 10 second uh, differential, so that, so we just gotta we just gotta we don't really need to take a shot. I mean, I, I would wait. I would I would run it down. Yes, sir. Dean back to Asia. 
Oh, there's a foul. That could be a tech foul. Oh. Number five with a push. That will be a two points. Asia at the free throw line. Here we go. First one on the way. Oh, you, need you got to have, you you got got to have one. one. 57, 55, 36 seconds to play. Panthers on top. You got that one. Got there. it. Get back, get back. Now they got to get back. Now we got to get back and defend. You got to defend. There's you got to defend. You got to defend. They got to have a three-pointer. Let's see. Coach Ooh. JB wants a timeout. We're going to stay right here, folks. I want to remind everybody about the yard sale. Circle the calendar, May the 4th. This will be the biggest yard sale in Clinton County this year with clothes, furniture, and household items. Not to mention barbecue plates, baked sales, and more fun for the kids. If you are interested in donating your spring cleaning items or any items to the yard sale to make it easy, Clinton Memorial will come pick it up. And you don't even have to be at the house. Just call them at 912-470-2401. And I think I'm going to have to take me a walk after this one, bro. <laughs> Man, I see there's nowhere to sit. I have no, no, seen I, this I gym, to, this I, pack, ever. Oh, no, I just need to get somewhere. I got to I got to get out of this spot right here, brother. I ain't gonna we out. got right at 6,000 people watching mm -hmm. Green Box tonight. Tell you what, they ain't been sold short. That's for no. sure. Williams with the ball. Uh -oh. Look out. Jakari, short, full more, out of bounds, Panthers have it. 23 seconds to play, 58-55. Now you got to expect them to foul yeah, they you right foul. here. No, they, they definitely go foul. So you got to get your best free throw shooters the ball. They get it to Talbert, clock is running, there's a foul. That'll be on full more. Coach JB didn't want her to foul. Fullmore, I think that might be five on her. Let's see, AC. Man. Alexander says, let's go, Panthers. 58-55. They need one free throw. She's shooting two or is it a one and one? AC, it's two. Uh, it, um, I don't. She it's needs two, one. It's two, it's two, yeah. She needs one. There it is. 59-55. Yeah, Still make, plenty of time. Yes, time. That make it difficult. It's a two-possession game now, though. I mean. Second one on the way. Yeah. Got them both. Talbert with four points in the fourth quarter. Here come the Rebels. They'll pull up. Won't go. Off the rim. Got it a second time. Won't go. Magby with the rebound. We got a foul. I Ten seconds. Yeah, That's yeah. going to do it, I see. Yeah, what a game, though, man. What a man, game. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to play the Rebels yeah. no matter what. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, man. 60-55. Ten seconds to play. The Lady Panthers. Ten seconds away from being the Region 2A champions. Hey, you seen this Madeline's up? Leading the chant. I see it was cold when we started this game. It's about 100 degrees in here now. Yeah, it Got is. it. Yeah, it is. 61 55. We're going to stay right here. They got a 60 second timeout. Mm. I see you. Let's see. They got 58. They could get two threes, but man, 10 seconds. And they don't have Curry. <laughs> yeah. So it's been be difficult. I mean, man, I thought the Panthers were gone. They were down by eight. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't looking good in the for fourth us. quarter. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't. It was like six minutes left, down by eight. It, it, it wasn't looking good. I mean, but they just like the last couple of games, man. I mean, it seemed like they just hit another gear, find some, find some, find some extra energy for somewhere and, and to pull these games out. But man, I don't, I don't like playing like that. This hard ain't, ain't good enough for that. Man, I tell you what, <laughs> nobody go anywhere because the Rocket Man and the Panthers will be playing the Bulldogs next. Moore's going to let it run as far as she'll pull up. Got to shoot it, shoot it. Trying to get it to Williams. They burnt half the clock. 
I tell you what, Coach JB has done a great job. Yeah, they got they got a good with the team, Rebels, man. man. They have nothing to hang their they heads about. Team. I tell you what, whoever whoever faces them in the playoffs, it, 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 ain't, it won't be easy. I can no, tell you that. No, that's gonna do it. And the Panthers will be your Region 2A champion, 61-55. Coach Chase, Ooh, what a game. Doreen, and Coach J.D., and Coach Sean McCall, they're all tickled to death. What a game. What a game. I tell you what, the Rebels. They got a good team, man. Man, and they got you. It's just, just, <laughs> it, it, it so crazy. I mean, they just they catch the craziest breaks. I mean. Man, you know. they, got, they got all the ingredients with a head coach like Coach J.B., Man, and the girls are young. They're ready. I think they're going to do the trophy presentation, aren't they, AC? Probably so, yeah. Uh -huh. And we're going to stay right here. The girls had to change uniforms three times, so I'm going to step back while they make the announcement. I tell you what, Ellen, they, them girls don't have, they shouldn't hold their head down because, I mean, every, the, the couple times I've seen us play them, they dominated. They, I mean, they pretty much beat us in a, in a bunch of quarters. I mean, they just, they're young. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when they figure and out the way I to, how to how to And I think that's what happened. The Panthers mm -hmm. just Dorsey, mm -hmm. Dorsey Dean stepping up, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got Dorsey and Dean and, and Destiny that was, they played on the state championship team last night, so they done seen all the everything that you can pretty much go through. So, they, they, Dorsey and Dean had 13 points in the fourth quarter. Dorsey yeah. had seven, Dean had yeah. six. I mean, and, and, and that's what that's how it should be. I mean, that's right. in the biggest moments. But, I mean, but this Atco team, I'm telling you, man, when they figure out how to finish, they're gonna be they're gonna be something to be reckoned with. Now I'm telling you. All right, the Lady Rebels will walk off with the region runner-up trophy. And hey, congratulations to the Region 2A girls champion, the Clinch County, Panther Rex. And there you have it, the Lady Panthers, Region 2A champions. We'll find out. I think they're going to play Tuesday. We don't know 100% sure, but we'll let you know just as quick as we know. They're going to take pictures, Coach Chase, Coach Doreen, Coach Sean, Coach J.D., We're very proud of the girl, man. Congratulations. We're going to take a break, folks, and come back. Don't nobody go anywhere. You want to see the next one. Clinch Lanier. If it can get any better, it will, AC. Yeah. All right, we'll be back in just a little bit.
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley, got my buddy A.C. Cooper, the Homerville Clinch County Recreation Director, helping me do the play-by-play -play tonight. My buddy David Lee running the camera. Daniel Munoz is at the studio, keeping everything online. Yeah, bro. Folks, when I tell you there's nowhere to get, I'm telling you there's nowhere to get, A.C. There's about 100 people in line trying to get in. They've closed the gate down in the third quarter of the girls game we had over six thousand people at one time right there at the end of the girls game watching creek box we appreciate all y'all tuning in man what a girls game that was ac it was Adam. i'm telling you man. david west says let's go dogs and panthers leave it all on the floor ac it looks like man we were worried about locklear he's dressed out Man, you know that younger was not going to miss this game. Well, no. And I talked to Lanier's <laughs> coach last night after the game, and he said he had a high tolerance to pain, man. And, look, if they were playing somebody that probably wasn't a Clinch County, he yeah. might not play. But I guarantee you he's going to yeah, try to he play. he's going to try to play this. You can, I could can, I can put everything down on that. That's for sure. These two teams are one and one. Panthers lost in Lanier and Lanier. Panthers lost by five in Lanier and then the Panthers beat Lanier by 20 here a week ago, AC. Yeah, we, played, we played really good um, the, the time we played them at home and all. And oh, I think, I think it was reversed. It reversed. When, whenever they played in, in Lakeland, we didn't play good. And when Lakeland come over here, they didn't play good. That's so. right. That's right. Blue Ford F-150 with a clinch tag. We need you to move immediately. There's nowhere to park here, AC. They're parked all the way up <laughs> the tow truck is to the Piggly Wiggly. We're getting ready for the Welcome starting the lineup. Yes, for the Region 2A Boys Championship between the Lanier County Bulldogs and the Clinch County Panthers. Jet says, let's go, well, Panthers. The away team, all the scoreboard Clinch will be the home team. Did you gamble, says, let's go, Panthers. Lanier County. Number one, Chris Locklear. Locklear, good to see that young man out on the court. Number two, Eli Nord. Number four, Sid McGriff. Number five, James Clarkson. And number 11, MJ McGriff. All right, there's your starting lineup. Lanier with the red uniform. Panthers will have their white uniforms. Now we're getting and ready for the Panthers line lineup. The Panthers. Number one, R.J. Glasgow. Number two, Kamoya Johnson. Number four, Aaron Bryant. Number 13, Jeremy Bell. And number 23, Jay Sean Raymond. Hey, see, I'll tell you what, Raymond had the game of his life last night, son. He put some points on the board. Yes, he did, yeah. He, I don't know how he does it down low, as as short as it is. Now, he's, man, he's, he's like SpongeBob. Man, he just, he's built. Strong, And he man. knows he's a way strong, to yeah. get, he can get that reverse layup on the back side of the rim. I don't know how he does it. That's his move, though. Yeah, when when you when you undersized down there, you got to figure out ways to get that shot off, and he, I think he figured out figured out a way to get loose. All right, Bell and Locklear will be jumping. Bell let him jump. Lanier has it. Clarkson with the ball. Lanier in the red uniform. Panthers in white. Clarkson has it. He'll give it over to MJ. Got the dribble, he'll do it then. He got it back out to Locklear. Back over to North. Long shot there, in and out, won't go. Bryant with the rebound for the Panthers. Here they come. Panthers will slow it down a little bit. Maybe we can get off to a good start, Alan. It'll be good. We hadn't yet against Lanier. In Lanier, we fell down by 12. Here in Clinch County, we were down eight to one. RJ with a three, in and out, won't go. Locklear with the rebound. Here yeah. comes the bull. It went, it, went out, it went out and come back out. That's right. MJ with the ball for Lanier. He'll get it to Sed. Back to MJ. 
MJ will pull up, 12-footer off the backboard, won't go, Raymond with the rebound up high. Bryant has the ball, here come the Panthers. Back to RJ, back to Bryant. Bryant finds Raymond, my man down low, tried to put it up, wouldn't go. Locklear with the rebound. He tried to get it up quick so big guy couldn't, couldn't get his hand on it. He got caught up on the side of the rim right there. MJ with the ball now. Got it down to Zed. Zed will drive in, throws it up, won't go. Raymond with another rebound. Here come the Panthers. Bryant has it. Oh, trying to get it inside the bail. Good job by number five. That's Clarkson. Got it to MJ. Lays it up and in. Lanier on out front first, two to nothing. Six minutes to play in the first. We went two minutes, we were scoreless. Two to nothing, Lanier on top. RJ with the ball, back to Bryant. They get it to Bell. Bell pulls up, 15 footer, won't go north with the rebound. Here comes Lanier, they lead two to nothing. MJ with the ball. Bryant's on him. Or Johnson's on him, excuse me. They get it to the man. Locklear in the middle. Turn around, lays it up. In and out, won't go. Raymond has it, and that's going to be a foul on his back. I think that's said, number four, AC. Mm -hmm. Man, it went in and come out. Yeah, it went in. <laughs> Here come the Panthers. Two to nothing, Lanier leads. Packed house. I hadn't seen this gym this full ever, AC. Oh, we missed him right there. Mm. Johnson with the ball now. MJ will pick him up. He'll back it away. He'll give it back to Bryant. 15 on the shot clock. Bryant looking for a gap. Can't do it. He'll get it back to Johnson. Nine, eight, seven. They get it to Raymond. Turn around. Blocked by Locke Locklear. Good play by the Bulldogs, JC. Yeah, it was a good block. I thought, I thought, um, they said they got away from him, but he right at the end right there. He was long enough to get his arm up. Good play. Two to nothing, Lanier leads. 440 to play in the first. They get it to said, he'll throw it up. Oh, we're gonna have a foul. Let's see who it's on. Number 13. Bale. I didn't think he was even by the play, AC. No, I think it said 23. I don't think. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. 23. That'll be your aim. And I was about to say Bell was yeah. nowhere around it. All right. Said will hit his first one. That'll make it three to nothing, Lanier now. Second free throw on the way. Got them both. Four to nothing. Here come the Panthers. Bryant bringing it down. Get it to RJ. RJ over to Bryant. Bryant with a long three-pointer, won't go. RJ with the rebound, pushed out of bounds. Panthers will keep it. Boy, I didn't think it would, I thought it might have come off the Panthers, AC. Got a break there. Bryant will bring it in. They get it to Bell, finally. That's the first time he took, well, second time. Bryant drives in, got it up, no foul. Here come the Bulldogs, four to nothing. Lanier leads. Clarkson bringing it down for the Bulldogs. Got it to Locklear, laid it up, won't go. Good job by Raymond to get some, a little bit of body on him. Johnson that up boy, and in. Good pair, good pair. Four to two now. Lanier on top. MJ bringing it down for Lanier. This is our eighth game in two days. Said with the ball. Miss Johnson says, ready to roll, Panthers. MJ will pull up off the back of the rim. Lock clear up high with the rebound. Won't go. Raymond with it now. Here come the Panthers. Bell bringing it down. He'll give it up to Bryant. Give it back. Bell has it. Good move by Bell. He'll dish it to Bryant. Back to Raymond at the free throw line. Johnson with it now. Good defense by the Lanier. Three minutes to play in the first. Four to two, Lanier leads. They get it to Bell. Trying to get down low, back to Brian, over to RJ. 
Brian will pull up, shoot inside the three, short, out of bounds. And with four seconds on the shot clock. What do we got here? Shooting two, that was a foul, I guess, AC. I don't know who they called that on. Um, I missed it too. That'll put Bryant at the free throw line. Big break for the Panthers. They can tie it up here. Now the referees are meeting. Let's see. If you have a silver Toyota Camry with tag number RXY9316, we need you to move your car. It's about to be towed. All right, here we go. Panthers, it's not a shooting foul. Lanier will bring in number 23. That's Rice. Well, how could it? I don't understand why. I mean, what who, what they call a foul at then? I mean, if it ain't a shooting foul. He was literally Oh, shooting. man, he had him under he had the him, basket. Yep. Mm -hmm. Waited a little too late, AC. Yep, and the shot blocker wasn't in the game right there. Bryant with the ball now. He'll kick it out to RJ. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Johnson dribbling around. To get it to Bale, Bale, oh, he almost slipped, got rid of it, good save by Bryant. Shot clock violation though, AC, that'll be a turnover. Mm -hmm. This ain't a good start for neither team, four points with two minutes to go in the, in the first quarter, Adam. Mr. Gamble says, Alan, we love you. We appreciate y'all tuning in, we love y'all too. All right, four to two, Lanier on top, North with the ball. Got it back to Clarkson. Inside the paint, pulls up, won't go. RJ with the ball, here come the Panthers. Oh. All the way, that's gonna be a foul on North. That'll put RJ at the free throw line. That's North's first foul. Four to two. First free throw on the way. Got it. Good job by RJ. Four to three now. Lanier still leading. Both teams struggling to shoot the ball, AC. Yeah, slow start for both teams. Yeah. Here we go. Second one. Got them both. Good job by RJ. We're all tied up. Four to four. Under two minutes here in the first. Miller getting ready to check in for the Panthers. MJ with the ball. He'll dribble around, pull up, 12-footer. It's going to be off. Johnson with the rebound. Brian will bring it down for the Panthers. Move it, move it, move it, pal. Got it over to RJ. RJ looked at it, going to lay it out there. Bale saved it, 20 seconds on the shot clock. 128 to play. We're tied up four piece. Panthers trying to find a gap in the defense to get a shot off. They get it to bail down low. Good job by the Bulldogs. They blocked it, and here comes Lanier. 1-10 to play in the first quarter. We're tied up 4-4. Four to four. MJ with the ball. Back over all along. Oh, off the back of the rim. Bale with the rebound. Here come the Panthers under a minute now. RJ, he'll throw up a three off the back of the rim. Johnson with the rebound for the Panthers and lost it out of bounds. Panthers aren't, that we're not getting second chances in the basket. Lanier's getting a couple more than the Panthers. Mm -hmm. Forty-six seconds, clock running here in the first. We're tied up four to four. MJ with the ball. 20 on the shot clock now. He'll get it back to Seb. Seb driving in off the basket. Got it. Four points for him tonight. Six to four. Lanier on top. Bryant with the ball. He'll get it. Oh, and they'll lose it out of bounds. Panthers will turn it over. 22 seconds. Boy, this is the lowest scoring game that I've seen this year. Yeah. <laughs> Is it because of the great defense or both I, I teams think, struggling? I, I think both teams are really tight right now. I mean. 
Well, nobody will get it. Could be the first one to 50 to win. Yeah, because remember the game earlier between Charlie and Turner, it was kind of. It was just like yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Then they finally opened up a little bit, so. Five seconds now. Four seconds. Three, two. MJ with the three, won't go. And that was Miller with the rebound. All right, after one quarter, Lanier six, clinch four. We will be back in just a second. this holiday season at the Mary Agret, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Mary Agret has everything you need to make every day a holiday. Walker Jones new 2024 Chevy truck are arriving daily and the 23's must go. Hi right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Anley, got my buddy AC Cooper up here with me. Six to four, Lanier leading here in the first. Now we're in the second. Low scoring game. We talked about games before the shot clock, AC. This reminds me of one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Look out. Locklear with the ball. Can't get it. Bell has it. He'll get it over to Bryant. Bryant trying to drive in, and that's going to be a foul on Bryant. That'll be his first. Miss Poole says, Charlene and Ken yelling at the wave. From the South Georgia Medical Center, let's go Panthers. Elizabeth Hunter says, let's go Panthers. Oh, look out, good pass, they kick it out. Good job by RJ. And Grady says, Panther Nation. Six to four, Lanier on top, they got the ball. Clarkson with the ball. He'll spin, throws it up, won't go. Locklear's gonna be called, I think. Let's see. Over the back. Yep, over the back. That'll be his first. Panthers have it. Six to four, Lanier leading. RJ with the ball. Over to Bell. Bell crossover trying to get to the goal from behind. Hard fall. That's going to be a foul on MJ. I think that's who it is, AC. Let's see. Yep, number 11. How to put Bell at the free throw line. Last time these two teams played a week ago, Bell had 28 points. First shot on the way. Oh, man. Didn't get it. Second free throw on the way for Bell. Got that one, good shot. Six to five now, Lanier still leading. I don't think the Panthers have led yet. They haven't. Seb with the ball, he'll give it off. Good pass, Locklear underneath, he'll put it up and in. Eight to five, Lanier on top now. And what class Lockley is? I don't know, AC. Miller driving to the basket, too high off the backboard, we'll miss it. Here come the Bulldogs. MJ with the ball. Six minutes, 30 seconds to play in the first half. Driving in, won't get it. Raymond with the rebound, here come the Panthers. Bryant with the ball. Bell with the ball now. He picked his dribble. Oh, too much. He's trying to get it to Raymond. Too high. Peggy says, let's go, RJ. Austin Arnold, I bet you Bo Gator is there. I guarantee you he was here at 4 o'clock. 
I just seen him too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's here somewhere in this crowd. He got camouflage on somewhere. Man, we appreciate all our sponsors for allowing us to bring the game to you. We'll get all of them with a shout out here in a little bit. We're going to stay right here. And Grady, let's go Panthers. Needing to hear from the student cheering section. Ain't got much to cheer for, for yet. Eight to five, Lanier leading. Here comes Lanier now. Sid bringing it down. There's, oh, Bryant with a good steal. Lays oh. it up. Oh, man, he couldn't get it. Man. Boy, missed that and cost a foul on Raymond. Boy, that's his second, AC. Eight to five. Man, you would think an easy layup, we had it. Here come the Bulldogs, MJ bringing it down. He'll pull up, short. Miller with the rebound, here come the Panthers. Bell pushes it down to RJ, dribbles in. No good, Miller fighting for it, jump ball, let's see. Yep, Panthers should have the possession. Nope, Lanier has it. Here comes Lanier now. Five minutes, 35 seconds to play here in the first half. Said will get it back over to Locklear. MJ with it now for the Bulldogs. Eight to five, Lanier lead. MJ driving in, he'll just throw one up, it won't go. Bell with the rebound, good pass to RJ. Oh! Boom, that one. Rocket man up high. That'll wake you up. Oh, I thought it might have still been on the rim, AC. That'll wake him up, eight to seven. Lanier still leading, look north. Lost the ball. Let's see, they're going to call a foul <laughs> on number one. That's RJ. That'll be his first. I ain't even seen it coming either, Joe. I don't know. <laughs> Darius and Patricia Grady watching. Eight to seven. Lanier leads. 4.52 to play in the first half. Low scoring game. They get it into Locklear. Back to MJ. Long three. Got it. Oh. 11 to 7. Bell with the ball. He'll get it to RJ. Over to Bryant. Bryant thought about it. Bell. Oh. Oh. Whoa. They said he traveled. Four minutes, 30 seconds to play in the half. Lanier 11, Clinch County 7. Clarkson with the ball for Lanier. Clarkson looking, he'll give it off to number four, Sid. Back to MJ. Back over to Sid. Let's see what we got. Lanier wants a timeout. We'll take a timeout too. We'll be back in just a second. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. 
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy A.C. Cooper over here helping me. 11 to 7, Lanier on top. North with the ball. He'll get it back over to number four, Sed. Back to MJ, another three. Off the rim, won't go. Raymond with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Bryant has it. Got it down to Miller. North will slap at it. Miller with a good move. They're going to have a foul. Ah. Oh, what did he do? Step out, out of bounds? Out of bounds. That was a good Man. move, too. Good move. That was a great move. It really move. was, yeah. 11 to 7. Lanier on top, 347 to play. Miss Thomas says, let's go. Slot number 13. North had it. He'll throw it. Oh, he said North. I reckon he stepped out of bounds before he hit RJ with it. He said it went off of him. RJ wiping his eye. Got him right on the end of the nose. That'll make your eyes water. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have the scoreboard. It's broken tonight, folks. We apologize. It's 11 to 7. Lanier on top. That'll be a foul. And one. Oh, what a play by RJ. <laughs> Boy, we need that. We can tie bad. it up, AC. Need it bad. Need it bad. Yep. RJ, he hit one of them the other night, Ellen, I think. Same Who shot. was that on for Lanier? That's, what, um, two. Two, that's North. That'll be his second foul. RJ will make it a four-point play. 11-11, we're all tied up. Martin Smith says, Carolyn Smith and the girls say, go Panthers. There's a foul. Let's see. That'll be on the Panthers, 317 to play. That'll put Lock there. Who was that on, AC? On uh, Jay Sean. Mm, that'll be Raymond's third, AC. He's going to have to come out. You're Lock right, there at the line. He'll you, miss you're right, because they said they're coming to get him. Yeah, yeah. God, you, you can't mean. afford He's got three. You got to have him. I, I don't, I don't see why he fought him right there, Ellen. I mean, both of them was going for the ball, and, and they gave him this defile on the shot, it looked like. Second free throw on the way for Lock. Lear got that one. 12 to 11, Lanier on top now. Here come the Panthers. Over to RJ. Back to Bryant. Bryant, back to RJ. There's another one. Off the rim, won't go. Miller steps Put it, up, it out. On. Johnson with the rebound up and in. Great play by the Panthers. 13 to 12. Panthers on top now. Here come the Bulldogs. MJ with it. He'll get it over to Locklear. Back down to Sed. Oh, and there's a foul away from the ball. Number 11. That's MJ. That'll be his second. Let him get one more. That'll be his second. You probably, I see you, I would set him down. You don't want him to get a third foul. Mm. RJ with the ball. He'll get it to Bell. Bell thought about it. Back to RJ. Back to Bell. Johnson got it into Miller. Got it. Big basket for the Panthers. I tell you what, Miller has been a big, big help, Alan. I, I mean, he, he has, we need that inside presence. That's so, right. I mean, That's right. 15 to 12. We got a foul on number four. That's Bryant, I guess. So that'll be Bryant. That will be his second. Got to be careful. What, oh, it's a, t is it, no, it's no, just a foul. No, okay. it's just a foul, yeah. Um, they must be in the bonus, they are. Yeah, but MJ, MJ he's he been pushing off the, I mean, the whole time. I mean, he got tangled up just then. I don't know, with him and Pell. First free throw on the way, got it. 15-13 now, Panthers lead. MJ with six points for Lanier. Trying to make it seven. Got it up, got them both. Good job by MJ. 
15-14. Here comes Mingo in the game. Bryant's got to sit down with two fouls. It's hard to play good defense when you're in foul trouble, AC. Yeah, that's right. RJ bringing it down for the Panthers. Over to Bell. Bell trying to find an alley somewhere. Can't. Got it across to Johnson. Out to Mingo. Mingo to Johnson. What they called a double dribble, I guess. Panthers turn it over. 2.08 to play in the half. 15-14, clinch on top. Kyle Williams give a shout out to RJ Gloucester. They get it in, here come the Bulldogs. Clarkson bringing it down, he'll throw it up. No good, we got a foul. That's gonna be on Johnson. That'll be his first. Clarkson at the free throw line. First one on the way, got it. We're all tied up with two minutes and four seconds to play in the first half, 15 to 15. Got the second one, Lanier back in front now, 16-15. Here come the Panthers. Bell with the ball, he'll throw up a three. Oh, wrapped around the rim, won't go. Locklear with the rebound, here come the Bulldogs. Clarkson bringing it down again. He'll pull up inside the three-point line, won't go, Mingo with the rebound. RJ bringing it back down for the Panthers. Bell has it. Over to Johnson. Johnson back to Mingo. Got him up. Mingo trying to go too hard. We got a foul. A good decision by Mingo then. Got him up in there and, and, and went around him. That'll be on Isaiah number three. That'll be his first. Mingo at the line. Odell James says, tell AC, Odell say we need back coaching on the gridiron. <laughs> Odell. <laughs> He's coaching. He's coaching from four-year-old to 12-year-old every day. Oh, good job, Amingo. We're all tied up 16 apiece. Bulldog, Clarkson driving in, throws it up, got it. 18-16, Lanier on top. RJ all the way to the basket, won't go too hard. Oh, they said he stepped on the line anyway. 108 to play here in the first half. 18-16. Here come the Bulldogs. MJ back in the game. You got to be careful. He has two fouls. Locklear with the ball back to MJ. Under a minute now. MJ got it over to number four. Going in. Bale got a piece of it. No. They'll call a foul. Hey, see who's that on? Number 10. Probably uh, uh, Miller. Miller, yeah. That'll be his first. That'll put number four said at the free throw line. He has four points tonight for Lanier. First one on the way, he'll miss it. 18-16. Lanier on top of the Panthers. MJ will come back out. Rice in the game for Lanier. Second one won't go. Miller with the rebound. He'll give it to Bell. 42 seconds. Clock is running. Johnson pull up, won't go. Rice with the rebound. Lanier has it. 30 seconds. 18-16, Lanier on top. Driving around, goes in, got him up in the air. Good move. Good job by number five, Clarkson with the basket. 20-16, Lanier on top now. Seven seconds. 
Five seconds. Two seconds. One second. Bell throws it up. Won't go. Well, folks, 2016 Lanier on top of the Panthers. We're going to take a break, and we're going to be back here in about 10 minutes. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. 2016 Panthers Trail Lanier. I got the head coach, the Lady Panthers, Region 2A champions coach. Congratulations. Good job tonight, man. Appreciate well, I, th I thought six minutes in the fourth quarter, we're down by eight. And I said, well, we've had a good run. <laughs> man, I don't know how we come back. Don't know how we did it. Dorsey and Dean finally took control. They scored 13 points together in the fourth. And then you had Talbert with four big points down the stretch, man. And what a game. What a game, man. Uh, Got to give it up to the crowd, man. These fans are awesome. Uh, but, uh, what happened to start the game? Let's start there. You went inside three times to change. <laughs> Well, I mean, we're up here All saying, right. well, what is it? So, apparently, it's illegal to have the word team across the back of your jersey. We played that all year. All year. All year. Uh, two years. Yeah, that's right. Two years. Did it last year, too. Okay. And the referee that came to talk to me has refereed several of our home games. That's right. But what did he just but notice? I, I think he was just the messenger. Oh, I got you. <laughs> hey. So. But you can't put no names on the back of your shirts? Charlton has Indians on the back of theirs. You well, know? that's, I mean, I, I don't, that's what I mean, does uh, it? I don't know. But look. Uh, so the, you go and you put your black so uniform we go, on. Well, so, and Brother J.D. can. He, he can attest. He was standing right beside me when the referee came over. He said, Coach, here's the, here's the problem. You got two options. He says, you can't have team across the back of your chest. That's against the Or back of your jersey. That's against the rules. I said, all right. He said, here's your two options. He said, option one is you can start the game with a technical foul. I said, I don't like that option. No. What's option that's two? right. He said, option two is you can change uniforms. And we'll give you time to change them. I said, okay, I like that option. That's right. And he we can said, do that. He said, do you have another set of uniforms? I said, yes, sir. They're in red. I've got a set of black. That's right. And I specifically said I have a set of black. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay, can you go put those on? I said, yes, sir. So we come out with black on. He comes back over, I think, again, as the messenger, mm -hmm. and says, coach, you're the home team. You've got to be in white. I said, you literally just told me we could be in black. He said, I'm just telling you that I've been 
told, you know, but you're yeah. the home team, you've got to be in white. Yeah. And I said, okay, I've got our old set of white from two years ago that we can go put on. And he said, okay, let's do that. So, again, we're already before the tip off um, having to encourage our girls and tell them, listen, you got two, now they have two options. Or we, and you know, as a team coach, staff, and players, we have two options. We can either let this cause us to get down in a funk and sort of take us out of the game mentally, or we can just change the uniform, no big deal, and come out and do what we're supposed to do. Well, you got to stand an ovation every time you come out. I might have done it one more time. I'm telling you, and look, (laughs) I looked at at J.D. and Doreen, and I said, Maybe they won't. Maybe it won't be a deterrent. You never know about teenage kids. That's right. And they said, "Nah, you didn't hear the first time we went out. This is fuel." That's right. And That's right. Uh, and man, I talked to the. Um, I just went in the hospitality room, talked with the Atkinson County head coach. He's JB. A, he's yeah, a, good J- guy. Coach JB is a guy. great guy. We had a great conversation about the playoffs and and just rehashing the game. And um, anyway, he said. I, he said, I specifically told them, I don't care what jerseys they wear mm-hmm. as long That's as right. they're not red. Well, I've seen him arguing with the referee over here. Mm. He said, let's just play because look. Yeah, he's ready to play. They don't want to sit there and be, no, you know. That's right. That's right. So it, it was what it was. But, um, you know, we did a great job of handling that situation, I think. And um, Man, well, a great come, a great game. Coach, we had over 6,000 people watching that game. Wow. You know. I mean, and I, I told you yesterday, and I'll keep harping on it because I tell my girls in the locker room last night and tonight again. I told you the stats that I keep that I keep up with that I'm concerned with. There's three areas: free throw percentage, which I thought we did really good tonight with our free throws. Um, turnovers and rebounds. That's right. We had 14 turnovers in the first half. Finished with 20, so we had six in the second half. Again, more than cut it in half. That's right. We more than doubled their turnovers mm-hmm. in the second half. Again, you know, or increased their turnovers, I know, by a pretty good bit. Rebounding, let me tell you about this stat. Yeah, I know you talk about points and that, that that is important, but let me tell you about this stat. Dean had 19 rebounds. Dorsey had 15. Mm-hmm. As a team, we had 52 rebounds. Atkinson County had 23 or 24 rebounds as a team. So Dean almost, Dean and Dorsey individually almost had, had as more many than they had as total as a team. And that and I'm telling you rebounds and turnovers. That's the game. Mm-hmm. Rebounds and turnovers, you know. Well now when will we play again, coach? And staying out of foul trouble. So we'll play best I can understand we play Tuesday night. And now listen to this. It's what I told my girls too. We're projected, I think, to play ECI at home. Uh huh. I said, dude, please do not look up ECI's record and think that you don't have to work because we, we're preparing one game at a time, obviously. ECI has won one game all year. Oh, Lord. One game. You don't want to play. Too. But now listen to this. Montgomery won region, and they're ranked number two in the state. Montgomery beat ECI by 6 and 11. Mm hmm. So you tell me. That's right. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. You, you can't look at their record. No. You no. cannot. Because they the number two team in the state beat them by 6 and 11. Now, I don't know what happened in the region tournament, but I heard in the region tournament they beat them like 80-something to 30-something. Yeah. But still, now I could see if one time, one game was close because, you know, you might have had people sick. You might have had people out. That's right. You might have had people whatever. But for them to, to lose by six and 11, two different games, yeah, you know, we got to prepare. You, and, and I told them again, this is a very real thing. Everybody starts at 0-0 in the playoffs, 0-0, right? That's right, that's right. I said, if you overlook them, you can walk out of here Tuesday night with a great record and a region championship and all that and be headed to the house, and they could be headed to the second round with two wins yeah, boy, that in one. the entire season, two wins. Because at this point, it does not matter. It starts over. Well, Coach, man, you've had a great year. with Another region title in the trophy case, and we'll move on and do it one by one. We'll be here Tuesday. Tuesday, we'll have to do it on the NFHS network, of course, because the GHSA takes over. We have no control of that, man. 
Uh, and that, I've seen Coach Terrence George run up to you after the game, man. He was excited. Oh, I know yeah. you're pulling for the Panthers here. Oh, we're here. pulling big right here. So, uh, and man, you know, and again, I want to touch on this senior class and just what the girls basketball have done. And, and this, this is nothing to me. I don't, this is nothing about me. I want to talk about girls basketball at Clinch County. This, this was our fifth consecutive region championship that, that the girls basketball team has played for. And they've won four out of five. Man, that's, that's an and accomplishment. That puts you up there with those schools that are known for girls basketball. That's you know, right. That's the right. Turner Counties and the Calhoun Counties and the, that's right. you know, whoever else you want to name that in the last five years, Clinch County girls basketball, those girls have worked super hard, and there has been a lot of tremendous talent come through. But those girls have worked hard to win those region championships. That's and, exactly and, right. And just to put yourself in a position to win that many, you know. And so I just want to, I just want to talk about the girls. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Well, and, brother, you. And my assistant coaches, man. That's right. right. JD, Sean McCall, and Doreen, man. Oh, I man. give them all a shout out. They do a great job. 20 to 18 here. The Panthers trying to get back in it. Lanier on top. But, Coach, once again, congratulations. And we're going to have you here Tuesday. Talk some more basketball, brother. All right. Thank you all, man. Yeah, man. Thank you, brother. We'll see you Tuesday. All right. Love you all. All right. Love you, man. Bye-bye. There you go again. That's from Coach Chase Daniels, the Region 2A champion for the Lady Panthers. Panthers trying to make it a clean sweep here. The boys trying to bring it home. They're in a tough one here. 20 to 18, Lanier on top. North almost with a steal. Johnson got it in the bail. A foul, let's see who that's on. Johnson, they're gonna call that on number two, Johnson. That'll be a foul. That's his second. Bell come down and got a basket. It's 20, but Bell has five points. Miller two, Mingo one, Johnson four, RJ six. She scores for the Panthers. Good pass, got it in. That was a great job, AC. Yeah, good pass, uh huh. Clarkson with eight points, 22 18 now. Bryant with the ball. Johnson will kick it out to Raymond. Bryant with a long three. Boom! Got it! Bryant's first basket of the game. 22-21. Out of bounds. Panthers will keep it. Oh, no. The Bulldogs will keep it. That's terrible. Uh, MJ pulls up, won't go. Bell fighting for it, slaps it away. RJ has it. 22-21, here come the Panthers. Trying to take the lead back. Bryant with the ball. Oh my oh, God. Turn it over, no. Oh. Here comes MJ and the Bulldogs. 22-21, Lanier on top. He'll get it over to Seth. Turn around, lock clear, off the backboard, won't go. Bell with the rebound. Five minutes, 25 seconds to play in the third. 22-21, Lanier on top. Bryant with the ball. He's gonna throw it up. It's gonna be a foul. Oh, man. That'll be on Bryant. That'll be his third, AC. His third foul. Let's see what Coach Terrence is going to do. He's going to have to get him out of the game. Here come the Bulldogs. They get it over to Clarkson. Nathan. Clarkson driving in. That's going to be a foul on RJ, and that'll be his second. 22-21. Panthers coming out with three fouls to start the second half. 
Good pass, Locklear behind, got it. Locklear with five, 24-21, Lanier on top. Bryant to Raymond, back to Bryant. Bryant playing with three fouls, they see got to be careful here. Over to RJ, they get it to Bell. We got a foul on number five. That's Clarkson, that'll be his first. Robert said, let him know Chase. Brian will come out now. Johnson in the game. RJ will throw up a three. Boom, got it. Big basket, we're tied up again, 24-24. Four minutes, 15 seconds to play in the third. Locklear with the ball. Good move there by Sid. He'll drive in and get the basket. 26-24. Lanier on top. Fred Tillerson, I'm about to come sit with you, coach. I'm on the home side, hiding. All right, brother, we love you. Fred, come back home, that'll be a kick. That is a kick, they're trying to bounce, pass it down low. 26-24, Lanier with the lead, Johnson driving in off the backboard, won't go. Panthers can't get it. Here comes Lanier, MJ with the ball. He'll kick it out to Clarkson, drives in, got it. Clarkson with 10 points for Lanier, 28-24. Mingo with a three, off the back of the rim won't go. Locklear with a rebound. Here comes Lanier now. Look out, Clarkson won't go. Over the board, Panthers have it. Miller coming in the game, AC. Miller with two points. No, either team's really hit many shots, AC. 28-24, yeah, man. Been a struggle for points tonight. Raymond with the ball. RJ has it. Back to Bryant. Bryant back in the game with three fouls. Miller trying to roll. Good Got shot. it. Good move mm -hmm. by Miller. 28-26. Maybe if we do that a couple of times. MJ driving in, won't go. Here comes Bell. Oh, he'll be slapped. That's going to be a foul. That's going to be on number five, Clarkson. That'll be his second. Well, they see you can tell which side we said no. <laughs> which, man, that everybody's sitting everywhere. Yeah. They're standing up on both walls. I think you got a mix of everybody everywhere. That's right. That's another foul. That's going to be foul number three. Now you might have to take him out. Clarkson with three fouls. Now he's got to sit him down, AC. Rice will come in for him. RJ will bring it in. He'll get it to Bryant. 28-26, Lanier on top. Bell with the ball. Brent Blitz wants a birthday shout out to Brent James. The Panthers will miss a three. Good save by MJ. Here come the Bulldogs. 28-26. Happy birthday, Brent. Oh, going to put it up. Oh, Fred. Man, he's going to say, I'm not there. I'm watching from home. <laughs> Sorry, rascal. Hey, <laughs> Rice at the free throw line. Well, brother, I was going to make sure I got to see you before you left. Rice, first shot up and in. 29 26. Bulldogs on top. Second one on the way. Good. Oh, he missed it. Miller with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. 
Under two minutes to play in the third now. Bryant with the ball. He'll pull up just inside the three, got it. Good shot by Bryant. 29-28, one point game, Lanier on top. North will throw up a three, won't go. Bell with the rebound. Bell pushing it behind his back. Got a foul, who's this one on AC? Number, number four. four. I think number four, yeah. Said that'll be his second. Johnson coming in the game for the Panthers. Isaiah, number three, coming in for Lanier. Panthers have the ball, trail by one, 129 to play in the third. Bryant has it. Bryant with five points here in the third. RJ with the ball. Raymond back to RJ, back to Bryant. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Johnson with the ball. Trying to get it to Bale, Bale has it. Shot clock running. Oh, it won't go, Bale with the rebound. Damn. Oh man, we threw it away. The shot clock buzzer went off. I don't know if it messed him up. Rice will pull up. Won't go. Bell with the rebound. Long pass. Good save by Isaiah. Johnson will steal it back. Up and in. Good play by the Panthers. 30-29. Panthers on top. Up and in. Bryant with another basket. 32-29 now. There's another steal. Raymond got it, got it. Panthers on fire. Oh my, 34. I see we were trailing by one. We scored, we scored eight points in like 10 seconds. Eight to nothing run. That'll rock the house down. 17 seconds to play in the third. It's like the Panthers just woke up. Like they'd been asleep. That was a crazy sequel there, Alan. I mean, it's... Man. <laughs> I'm glad we was on the good side of that. <laughs> Jay Sean, biggest fan, say this. Kelly Dixon, Miss Kelly says, let's go, guys, and Panthers. Allison Smith says, roll, red, roll. Bessie Alexander says, Bryant, number four. Bryant's on fire for the Panthers. 34-29, Panthers lead, biggest lead of the night. 17 seconds here in the third. Locklear with the ball, laid it up and in. 34-31, here comes Bale, he'll pull up with a three. Won't go. That'll get us to the fourth quarter, folks. Panthers lead 34-31. We'll be back in 60 seconds. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richard's catering service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912-487-5822. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Inley. Got my buddy A.C. Cooper with me. 34-31. There's a turnover. What happened, A.C.? He pushed off. That's going to be number four. Yeah, he pushed off. Oh, no, number three, I guess, on MJ. I thought it was four. Panthers will keep it. 
eight minutes. We're just starting the fourth quarter, folks. And Grady said, this is our house. By Anthony Harris, let's go, go. 23, mini. Brian will bring it in. 34-31, Panthers lead. Bryant with the ball, he'll turn it over. Oh, Bell saved it. No, we got a foul. Man, that'll be number four, yeah. Brian oh, AC. God. That ain't good. Oh, got seven and a half minutes to play in the game. Bryant got to be careful till they get a sub in. North with the ball. I would attack Brian if I'm Lanier, wouldn't you, AC? Yeah. Yeah. Try to get him out of there. Clarkson will pull up inside the three, won't go. Bale slaps it away, but Lanier will control it. 34-31, North is gonna drive in. Off the back of the rim, got it to go. 34-33 now, Panthers lead by one. Bryant with the ball. Lynn says go Panthers, watching for Maynard. Lynn and Joe, appreciate y'all tuning in, darling. Bell with the ball. Good pass inside to Raymond, got it. There's my man, Raymond down Don't low. do it, pal, don't do it, get out of the way, man. Yeah, let it go, let it go. A three, boom, got it. That could be a four point play. Great shot by Clarkson. That was on Johnson, wasn't it, AC? Yeah, it was on Johnson, yeah. That'll be his third. 36, 36, we're tied up, folks. Clarkson can break it and give Lanier back the lead. Got on the way, it won't go. Miller with the rebound, he'll give it to Bell. We're all tied up, folks. Six and a half minutes to play in the game. Robert Ganey says, up, bring it on, Panthers. You gotta step up. Let's go, boys, and congratulations to Coach D and the Lady Panthers. Zai, we appreciate you tuning in. Zai Locklear, Bell got it. Bell got the block. Oh, what I mean, step out of bounds, AC? Yeah, step out of bounds. Man. Yeah. Man, we need to get away right here, Adam. I'm telling you, brother. We need, it. we need him right here. 36, 36, 620 to play. They get it in to Rice. Rice will put it up and in. Here comes Bell. He'll give it up to RJ. 38-36 now, Lanier on top. Bale with the ball. He'll give it all the way to RJ, three-pointer. Off the back of the rim, RJ with his own rebound. Mingo got it blocked. They'll regroup. Plenty of time, 15 on the shot clock. Hit Miller in the head. Oh, what was he trying to get him down low, AC? Yeah, yeah. Man, it went right off Miller's eye. 38-36. Lanier on top. 5.30 to play. Dead with the ball. He'll lay it up. Out of bounds. Lanier will keep it. 20 on the shot clock. Miss Sands says, don't ever count them Panthers out. Way to go, Panthers. Oh, I see, is that legal? It should be a five seconds. Yes, I thought it was five seconds. Yeah, you just can't bounce it off somebody, you can, can you? You can, yeah. Oh, you can? Yeah. So before he counts to five, yeah, you can do, do that. Yeah, if he did, yeah. Mm -hmm. a smart play, Good really. Good move by Bell. What a move. Got it. 
38-38. What a move by Bell. Clarkson with the ball for Lanier. Stop. Oh, no. Number two. All right, Jay, he finna take him up. I knew he finna do it. I knew he finna do it. Oh, what? And a tech. RJ, man, he got a foul in a tech, AC. Foul in a tech. So he'll shoot the foul, then the tech, then the possession. Mm, you probably so, yeah. That could be a six point play. But yeah. And he already been on RJ the whole time. You gotta, you just gotta let that go right there. Right. I mean, I, mean, I know right. you upset about it, but you still gotta let it go right there. Man, got them both. Cause that, that's that's been brewing. The last time that he caught him for a foul, he he wanted to get him in. North to shoot, got it. Lanier 41-38 now. Got that one 42-38. And this is the big one. I see they get the possession. And they get the possession, yep. Boy, could, could be a, could does be a, not like that. Could be a six-point swing right there. And we're going to have a full timeout. We'll take a timeout, and we'll be back in 60 seconds. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Everybody, we're back here live on Creek Box. Panthers just give Lanier four free throws and a possession. 42-38. They got the ball. Under five minutes to play in the game. MJ with the ball. Got it to North. He saved it. Mingo on it. They get it to Locklear. Got him up. Got it. Good shot by Locklear. 44-38. Here come the Panthers. Bell with the ball. He'll get it over to Mingo. Back to Bell. Bell back to Johnson. Back to Bell. They give Raymond a shot at it. Nowhere to go. Johnson trying to drive in. Won't go. Rebound Bulldogs. Here they come. Clarkson with the ball. That's going to be on Mingo. Back at the free throw line. That's number five Mingo. That's his first. Robert Ganey says play smart Panthers. Keep your head in the game. Forty-four, thirty-eight. He'll miss the first one. Second shot on the way. Got that one. Good job by Clarkson. Forty-five, thirty-eight. Need a score right here. Got to have one. AC. Under four minutes to play now in the game. Bryant with the ball, got it to Raymond inside. Bell thinking about it. Go oh guys, we got to go. Oh man, a foul that's gonna be on Rice, I think. Let's see, 23. Yep, that's him, that'll be his first. Come on, come on. 
Johnson with the ball, 20 on the shot clock. Bryant back to Johnson. Panthers down by seven, long three, won't go. Locklear with the rebound. Panthers can't find a shot, AC. 45-38. North, a long three, got it! North with a big three. Ten point lead, biggest lead of the night. Oh, Raymond trying to go! Panthers will keep it. Raymond fell on him. What's that, AC? Huh? What happens? They're a foul? Well, uh, they, they ran for the ball and he, he uh, undercut him, but they just called out of bounds. All right, let's see. We're going to have a timeout. That's a 30 second timeout. We're going to stay here, folks. I'm going to give a shout out to our sponsors. We have Homerville Jewelers. The Averett House, the Little Averett, and the Mary Averett. Richard Meat, Seafood, and Famous Barbecue Sauce. Clinton Memorial Hospital Community Paramedicine Program. Homerville Jewelers, Dre's Snack Shack. Clinton Memorial Hospital. Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed. Clinton Memorial Pharmacy. Clayton Homes of Waycross. Clinton Memorial Family Practice. Pete's Inn of Waycross. Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia. Savage Turner Law Firm, Camping World of Alasta, Napa Auto, Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Walker Jones of Waycross, Burke CPA, Lutz Brown Insurance, Moore Farms, Huey's One Stop, no. Douglas Metal. All right, here we go. Panthers need a basket. They need it now. Down by 10, 238. You got to have something knocked out of bounds. Johnson throws it up, somehow got it to go. I don't know how he got that one. Should have been a foul too, Ellen. Eight point lead, 48-40. You've got to play oh, defense trap him, trap him. down. North driving in, won't go. Locklear up and in and one. Man. That's gonna be on Raymond, that'll be his fourth. Locklear with the basket. 50 to 40, got it. 51 to 40. RJ to Bryant, you got to shoot the ball. You, you can't got time to pass time. it. Down too many points, not the, 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 the set, but you gotta get it going. RJ with the three, got it. All right, bro. 51-43. Here come the Bulldogs. Lanier just chewing the clock. Minute and a half. They up by eight. Let's see, we're gonna have a timeout. That's going to be a 60-second timeout. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a second. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord... All right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. Jonathan Smith said, tell AC I said, hey. 
What's up? What's up, Jay? Bulldogs have it. Look out. Locklear got it up and in. That's going to do it, AC, I'm afraid. Yeah. 53-43. Foul on number four. That said, that'll be his third. Really not a factor at this point. RJ to Bryant. Bryant will pull up inside the three, won't go. Knocked out of bounds. Lanier has it. 1-11 to play. 10 point lead for Lanier. I want to give a shout out to everybody that's tuned in to Creek Box this weekend. We had about 4,400 viewers last night. Tonight we've had 6,000. But we sure do appreciate it. We want to give a shout out to the Atkinson County Rebels runner up in Region 2. They done a great job, and of course a shout out to Coach Chase and the Lady Panthers for bringing home the region. Looks like Lanier is gonna win this one. Panthers will get to host the game Wednesday, yep. AC, so yep. that's big. They'll be playing the number three seed out of the region, MJ with another one. 55-43. Johnson will throw up a three, won't go. That's been the story all night. AC Panthers really, either team really hadn't shot very good tonight. What the hell? Uh -oh. Raymond with the steal. This is what killed the Panthers. They hadn't been able to fast break none. That'll be called on Bell. And we just couldn't do it. Nothing tonight, right? I see foul, foul after foul. Once the tech foul came, that was a six point swing, and it's all went downhill yeah, since. Yeah, went downhill after that. Yeah. Brian will be out. That'll be number five. So Brian will foul out. Fifty-five, forty-three. 43 Lanier is going to be the Region 2A champion. Panthers will finish up the runner-up. MJ at the free throw line. Got it. 56-43. Twenty-five seconds. Bell with the ball, just going to let it run out. That'll do it. Panthers will come up short. Lanier will be the region 2A champion. And the boys, we're going to stay right here while they give away the trophies. We want to give a big shout out to Lanier County Bulldogs. <laughs> So, Lanier win. They see you play the game to win. It's hard sometimes to lose. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You're great. You can lose now. After tonight, there's no more losing. There's no more losing. That's right. So, you got to be thankful for that. Panthers will finish second in the region. Big congratulations to the Lanier County Bulldogs. Yeah. Well, we didn't we didn't play our best tonight. I mean, no, by far. no. Lanier just just with with the Panthers shooting poorly, and Lanier, look, they played good defense. We couldn't get nothing inside. They did a great job. Well, Locklear ended up with 14 points. Congratulations to the Region 2A Board Champion of the Lanier County Bulldogs. All right, Lanier with the Region Championship. Clarkson will finish with 16.
Clinch County Panthers will finish as a region runner up. We want to give Coach Terrence George a shout out. I want to remind everybody we'll be here Tuesday night at 6. You'll have to watch us on the NFHS network. That's up to the GHSA. I'm Alan Hanley with my buddy AC. God bless you. We'll see you next Tuesday.